Come on, please work, please work. There we go. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> close the chat for the other one. Jesus Christ. Oh, it actually does show live. Okay. Oh my God. I'm gonna be absolutely fucking awful. I hate this so much. I'm doing so well too. It's just everything decided to fuck up. For fuck's sake. ST. I don't get why it fucked up in the first place. It doesn't make any sense. Have to now restart this. Show more. No. Stream continuation. Warning date. Yes. Jesus. There we go. The only thing that sucks about that is it kicked me out of the other chat, so now I can't fucking tell anybody. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Windows do be like that. I don't get why the fuck it had to fuck up that bad. Of all things. Here, we're gonna completely disable your camera. What the fuck does that do for anybody? Oh my god. And just clicking on the stream. Clicking on this stream. To make it so that uh, I could quote unquote share it. I ended up making it so that it uh, completely shut down the chat of the other one. The other chat is closed completely, not just you. Okay. Oh, God damn it. Well, that sucks. Concurrently, we had 10 people in. So that would have been a very good stream. But now, yet again, just like the fucking SH Figure Arts one, or whatever the fuck that stream was, YouTube just has to cuck me more. It is unfortunate. Uh, things like that do somewhat make me want to migrate over to Twitch, which I said that I would never fucking do. It's very annoying. I don't think I ever shared that one in the Discord either, so... I can get in there now. Share. Copy link. Absolutely fucking ridiculous. Stream notification. There we go. Just let it be on the record. I am not starting late. There's a part one to the stream. I have to add in another member because another person ended up showing in the Discord. Manage, edit, roles, jungle juicers. Okay. Technology is so irritating. I never had that happen before, so I genuinely thought that my fucking camera broke. Genuinely thought my camera broke. It's so ridiculous. So ridiculous. Well, I do have to say one thing. At least I wasn't having to, like, fix my model every couple of minutes. So, you know, I guess that's at least good for something, right? <laughs> so cool. Oh my god. Like, the fact that it's like, everything's going well. You are now frozen. Like, oh, okay, that's a bit confusing. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Scooch myself up here a bit. Oh, damn. I have to properly sit in the chair or else my ass is gonna fall off. What did you use to make the VTuber model? I used Vroid Studio and I edited one of the hair textures up at the top that was braids. And then I just added in the uh, bottom part myself. Oh my god. I'm stressed out now because of what happened. I'm here now. Welcome projecting. I'm sorry that I had to make people move, but you know, I, I wasn't expecting to have to either. 
because I remember that you used to. I see no longer now, but I know that at some point, at least in like the last 10 years or so, fix, you were able to like end a stream or like your thing would shut down and you were immediately able to pick it back up. Not anymore, I guess. <laughs> It's like, YouTube is like, hey, we fixed this. It's like, dude, what if I have, like, an urgent shutdown situation? Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Mm, just restart. <laughs> eh, today is supposed to be raining outside. I don't think it is right now. Oh, my God. This has been an absolute fucking nightmare. But to be honest... I think I'm gonna, like, I, look, I know it's, like, only a 30-minute stream of that, at least. I'm definitely cutting that and making that a video. That was fucking crazy. Because <laughs> the thing is, if it's a video, people are gonna actually go and, like, watch it. If it's a stream, I don't think people are going to watch it unless I name it something like Technical Difficulties Everywhere, <laughs> and then rename this one Part 1, and then be like, this was a second part. Go ahead and do... Like, go here for the first part that got renamed. Like, I also renamed, um, one of the last streams that we did as well. <sighs> and then there were none. Because, to be honest, I don't think it was my fault that the stream ended up not really going anywhere. YouTube loves to do this thing where it's like, we're just not going to promote your shit. Fantastic. Anyways, I saw the purple bungle. When is the next Skittles color? Bungle Jungle. Purple. Purple. You mean the one with the pink hair? Hold on. Not settings, Avatar. You mean this? This isn't purple, this is pink. It It's alt. I'm dumb. There we go. This is pink. I mean, like, the model that I have working in Vroid right now, the hair is the only thing that still looks the same, as well as, like, the ears and everything. Um, I'm completely kind of trying to change its purple from now on. Fuck, I should probably do that because that is Fel's favorite color. Make it purple. Um, I'm kind of contemplating whether or not I want to completely switch the model or not like it does look like picky pink you see it's fine as it is i might do other ones as well because everyone obviously like has ones where it's like different than their original one or whatever why is the mouth gray so um the mouth is gray on the original bungle and when i was originally porting this one over because i have worked on this since the model, quote unquote, reveal, which it wasn't supposed to be yet. People were just asking questions, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, sure, whatever. Oh, peach. Okay, never mind. Oh, peach. All right. Um. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. I love that fucking rat. <laughs> See, if Clumsy was here right now, she'd be like, there it is. <laughs> So, the mouth inside of the original bungle is gray. And the thing is, before, like, when I was porting it over, I forgot to uh, change the color of the inside of the mouth. I changed everything else, but I forgot to change the color of the mouth. It has been changed now. They're that loud so that I can hear them. I'm so sorry. But I will end up changing the color of the mouth back to... I'm going to probably do a medium red. Maybe a little bit lighter, depending on what looks good in the... You know what I mean? And, yeah. Like, I... This one does not have a definitive design at all yet. Because the design that it was going off of is way too complex for a little idiot like me to do in Vroid Studio. And the hair is the closest thing I was going to get besides the two little extra pigtails, which are used for an index of volume in the hair. Or, um, what is it called? It's not an index. The illusion of providing volume to the hair, which they do very well. 
So the ears aren't really supposed to be ears, but you know what it is what it is. I might just straight up make it a fucking rat. Like, I don't really know. And before anyone asks, no, Fell does not have a model. He never will. That's just how it is. I like the thumbnail where you smoke. <laughs> that was just put in the Discord. <laughs> Wait, is that a DM or... No, it says it's in Bungle's Jungle. Fantastic. Oh, he just joined, that's why. Hold on, I have to... Right, I forgot only mods can see new members, so I can't even view shit in there. Yeah, no, it's me smoking. Let me go and manage, edit, jungle juicers. There we go. Thank you. I don't smoke like that, to be honest. Um, yeah. So I mainly do vaping. I have to go and get another one, but like I said before, I have never personally, like, bought a vape myself. So I kind of feel the same way that I did when I was going to go and buy alcohol for the first time. It's just, I don't know if they have the flavor that I want. Meanwhile, when you go and buy vodka, like, go and buy vodka, literally you start with standard and then you just go and get whatever else. Like, for me, my favorite flavored vodka right now, and I haven't drank in a couple months, but I am somewhat getting the urge again is currently Svetka Strawberry Lemonade Vodka. I do like Svetka. It's just, I've also seen where there are other brands of it, but I also don't want to be spending over $20 on vodka. I smoke these meats. All our food keeps blowing up. Chicken. Pickle Sprite. Ew. My mom keeps questioning if I'm going to buy pickle chips at some point, because I like pickles. Also, if you're new here, we have to deal with the broken neck thing all the time. Still have not found out a way to fix it. All we got to do is hit F7, which is my reset key, and problem solved. So, yeah, I'm like, dude, I don't like pickles that much. Grape brisk. Have not been able to find it yet. I wish I could. They have so many, quote unquote, so many flavors. Walmart only carries like four. Dill pickles, dill pickle lays are godlike. Belt wants me to try and find the ketchup flavored potato chips again, but the problem is in New York, they don't sell them, and I'm not shipping them in from Canada because then they'll cost like $80 for like a $3 bag. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. How about we talk about again? Because this one will be the primary Project Sakai stream. Um, how about we talk about a project that I'm going to be working on? Um, so I have been perusing PJSec.i probably for the last couple of, I'm going to say, almost an entire fucking year. No, it's not that much. <laughs> what are you adding now? What the f- Is that Cyrillic? Bixi or Yipsi. <laughs> That's not how you say that. <laughs> God, my I I used to be able to properly do it, but like oh my god. I have not been able to uh pickle sprite. The problem is it's like I see the pickle, quote unquote pickle, and it looks like a cucumber because of like when they put Holland. That that's not Polish, is it? Polish isn't Cyrillic, is it? I think I'm saying the name of it wrong, too. Wasn't so bad. Ooh, that's what I thought about something that uh, might have given me a disease. <laughs> so I posted this, um... I'm in Florida. Ooh, my god. Let's talk about Florida for a fucking second. Are the old people actually leaving, or is that just a myth? Because someone said that they're trying to come up north. And I don't mean up north to me. I meant like to like Washington and Colorado and shit. Is that the truth or was that just some propaganders? They are. Holy dick. They're like, we got too warm. We need the cold again. 
Come on, Mr. Petrikov, we're going. And Simon's like, where's my Betty? Where's my princess? You're getting roasted. That's not him getting roasted. Don't be mean. It's not his fault he lives in Florida. Or it's not their fault they live in Florida. <laughs> Never heard about this. Haha. -ha. So I saw it on Twitter where everything is. <laughs> and no, that wasn't even on Twitter. I got that on my Google for you recommendations. Like when you first open up your phone and like you get shown like here's your current weather area or whatever. Um, Yeah. I saw that and I'm like, there's no fucking way that's true. And because I didn't know anyone from Florida, I'm like, well, why in the fuck am I supposed to like talk about this with somebody? Because I'm a loner who doesn't fucking know anybody because I'm stupid and just bubblegum pink looking ass. It's a certain dilemma. A few factors were in place and that. It's not Twitter. Ahem. Oh, my name is. Oh, how the fuck do you even do an Elon Musk impression anyways? You have to sound like you're about to kill yourself, right? My, my name is Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk ASMR. He sells you a car and then kills you in it so that he can get the rebate back. No. But you know what? Fuck the advertisers. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want people advertising on our platform. If you're going to be stupid and retarded and just all the other things. He does. He sounds like he is a massive party pooper. He sounds like he is one drink away from Colt 45. And I don't mean the drink, I mean the gun. But yeah, no, like, um, I explained this before. I don't call it X because I think X is stupid. And that's also what he was planning to call PayPal if he was going to acquire them and blah, blah, blah. We've been over this 50 fucking times. I know the entrance to it was a joke. But I honestly like the bird more than I like the little X symbol. The birdie is very cute. I call it Twither. <laughs> the X transactions. Who? Sorry, I'm I'm. I like the hair. <laughs> I like the hair a lot. Uh, <laughs> Twix. Mm, Twix bar. <laughs> Colonel. Twix. I can't do men voices. I can barely do female voices. I sound very much like very immature but then too old to do young person voices. It's very sad. <laughs> oh my God. So I also didn't want to do one with music today, a stream with music because I've, I'm not going to lie. I don't listen to it. It's annoying to keep track of like how loud or quiet or whatever it is. It's just boring. Like, the thing is, I don't mind having the music on, but when it's drowning me out, it kind of sucks. So why don't we go ahead and get over to the reason why I did the first stream in the first place for those who do not want to go back and visit that shit show of a stream, which if you want some good entertainment without a VTuber involved, um, I would recommend you go and watch it. But for right now, let's get back into why I decided to stream today in the first place, the first catalyst of everything. Please don't autoplay. <laughs> no. <laughs> so. Let's go ahead and begin this. I was just perusing through YouTube. And I had watched a clip off of this. From YouTube Shorts. And this morning after I got home. New Bungle Strungle model reveal. No. <laughs> I'm not doing any more than right now. Anyways, I was watching this this morning. This is from a group led by Eli Double Tap, Donut Operator, Brandon Herrera, and the Fat Electrician. If you have not heard of this, it is called the Unsubscribe Podcast. I decided to watch it this morning since in this episode, they reference a very pinnacle point of when I started getting involved in, I guess, the consumption of NSFL content. 
Now, if you do not know what NSFL means, it means not safe for life. If you want to learn more about this, I would recommend doing it safely online. But basically, it's a TDLR watch people die. <laughs> like, it's watch accidents happen. The morbid curiosity of being a human. That's basically what NSFL is. It's like, do you want to watch a significant accident happen? That kind of thing. Um, actually, the entirety of an event that we talked about before that someone actually got banned for saying was good. Fuck you, by the way. It was not a good thing. It actually led to a lot of issues, including some that we still feel today. Bungle Scrungle isn't Twitter NSFL. No, Twitter is NSFW. NSFL has to mainly do with death and cult, like cult mass suicides, that kind of stuff. Not as a joke. Tweets. No. No. Because, like, I will say this as a person who has seen some stuff on Twitter. It is not as rampant as you would think. So basically, the entirety of 9-11 was NSFL and gets categorized as such. There are a lot of other things that do as well. And this podcast right here from Unsub, which is their second most recent, I believe they've already put out one after this one went out. Also, YouTube ended up changing their layout. Oh, gross. <laughs> YouTube ended up changing their layout. So it's like this now, unfortunately. Very sad and gross. I did not want that to happen. Curse you, Windows. This is Twitter War and Live Show Chaos featuring the Fat Electrician, because he comes in and out sometimes. Um, yeah, they were talking about their live shows. They actually mentioned the Budgewire suicide in this, which you, for a while, were able to find on YouTube, uncensored. And I believe you still can. I spelled his name wrong. We're not gonna watch it, don't worry. Most viewed. Is it this? No. That's also not it. It's literally a video. Bud Dwyer commits suicide on live TV NSFW from the archives. Did they delete it? This oh, they took it down. Are you serious? It only took this many years, but they finally took it down. Holy shit. That was also the way to get to the video. Here it is. Thanks, but also what the fuck did I just watch? I'm going to make sure that it doesn't autoplay. It is specifically this. And it does end up going through the top of his head right here and bleeding out through his head and also through his nose. And the thing is, he did it during the day while people would be at school. But the problem is, because basically he did it so that it wouldn't traumatize people like younger kids. Well, I guess like older kids. But the problem was, is that the day that this happened, um, he ended up forgetting or not understanding that that day was a senior skip day. So regardless, they were watching and saw it anyways if they weren't playing hooky or doing whatever you were back in the day. And yes, 1987 is unfortunately back in the day. I'm sorry right now is not the 2000s. A few bait things back then when the internet was, well, the internet. Y'all remember Meat Spin? Y'all remember Lemon Party? Two, uh, what was it? Two Girls, One Cup? Where Ron Jeremy was the grand man who was like, hey, this is not actual shit. It's pudding and possibly nuts or oatmeal. Like, <laughs> it's like Ron Jeremy, the fucking goat. Jesus Christ. <laughs> fucking long love Ron Jeremy. Jesus Christ. But anyways, yeah, I was watching Unsub and they were talking about how amazing like their fans are, the people who came out. I'm not naming them, but I know too much for my own good. Look, we're old, okay? I feel you. We're older people. We're gonna know some shit that the younger generation straight up just fucking doesn't. So I was watching this. 
and it was talking about just how amazing their audience is, even people who didn't come out to their shows and everything. This is from three days ago. Okay. And it got me feeling some type of way because when I watch Eli Double Tap, specifically when I watch Brandon Herrera and like all the guys and everything like that, even if their content does touch a bit more on stupidity and morbidity, like for example, Donut Operator's content is mainly... Donut Operator's content is mainly looking at what cops are doing or like body cam footage, some shit that happened. The good and people, bad and people, situations, etc. Um, yeah. That kind of stuff, for some reason, piques my interest. And I like watching their content. It's the same feeling that I get when I watch some of Northern Lion's stuff, which is just, no matter what the topic is, I can just chill and listen to this. And these guys make me feel good about being autistic. Because they're like... Their entire audiences are straight up weaponized autism. So then, I love his tats, by the way. So then, get out of there. I decided to go and check and see, because here's what I was going to do today. Today, I was not going to stream and I was just going to rip assets from here. But then curiosity got the best of me because I was like, hmm, I wonder if any of the third anniversary additional outfits, like the main first and second year outfits for the excess characters that were not Miku, got added to PJSec.i uh, listings and stuff. So, I was looking, and I first looked through Rin, and I noticed all of these. These were not here before the last time I looked, which was like a week ago. I believe now. And this one is... Sorry. This one is her standard outfit. Their standard outfits are always there. Two is her original more, more jump outfit, or at least I thought it was. Because when I went into this, this is her Wonderland's X Showtime costume. So curiosity had caught me. What is number three? Number three is her more more jump costume. So I said, okay, well, what is number five? Number five is her Leo Need costume. Number six is her 25G Night Core Day costume. And then finally, the nines were here. They weren't here the last time I looked at this. So I checked. It's her second costume for More More Jump. And that got me looking at every other one's. 23 is Len. 24 is Luca. 25 is Mako. 26 is Kaido. They're all here. All of them are here. And I wanted to actually tell people that they were if they were in the project sky ripping scene and didn't see these outfits because now what i wanted to do well at the start of the quote-unquote last stream <laughs> was i wanted to now rip these to show you guys how easy it is to rip stuff from here get stuff ported over work on stuff etc if you wanted to do that yourself or if you knew people that were in the scene that you could share this with great but then, of course, uh, all the uh, technical difficulties happened. The only reason that I found out about this in the first place was because I was over on Secipedia, which is where I look to see, like, if I were to rip stuff today, let's just say hypothetically, I wanted to rip stuff, what costumes did I want to rip today? Well, I found one in a video on YouTube that is not currently up in the archive and is not currently up on the Sakaipedia site. <laughs> Excuse me. So I thought about it and I'm like, oh, these look cool. These are for Wonderlands, like Showtime. This is for basically the circus group that is in, or the stage performance group that is in Project Sakai Colorful Stage. Intruder R. And they don't have any unique hairs or anything. None of them do. Intruder R, Hacker N, Observer R. And I was like, okay, I want to rip these. 
But the thing is, I didn't like I don't have the later ones listed like how I do for the ones that are in the current just basic character one folder, because right now we're in character V2. So I was like, OK, I'll just go to PJSec.i. So I did go over to asset, go over to everything I need to go to. And I was like, what if it's there? And then that started the entire catalyst of why I wanted to stream in the first place. But now. Hammy's playing Vermintide. <laughs> But now I kind of just want to sit and chat because we have to talk about the bullshit that happened, quote unquote, last stream. And to do that, I want to be the cat. So I'm switching back over to OG Bungle really quickly. I am sorry if you like the pink one. We're not doing this one fully yet. I am so sorry. So. Why in the fuck? My neck is broken. Why in the fuck did the computer just decide not to want to update shit until I touched it? I genuinely like, I don't, I don't like it. It's purple. It's not purple. You might be colorblind. Maybe I'm colorblind. What color is the background? What color is the background? What color is my fucking mouth? <laughs> I don't know. I hate orange. Well, you got me there. <laughs> no, um, I guess we're going to do what I wanted to last last stream, which is the grocery stream, since I'm you know, I'm back in swing. We're not going to talk about the uh, other video and stuff like that as well. I did pick up some other interesting things besides groceries which I want to go over first. I just have to reach over and get them. The reason I chose purple for the background, like the wall, is because that's, uh, it's not exactly Fel's favorite color. His favorite color is iridescent purple, which I really can't pull off with this kind of stuff. But yeah, I tried my hardest. I also accidentally inverted the colors because I forgot that on the old one, the wall was beige and the floor was purple. Like a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You can literally hear me pulling shit out. This is, like, the abundance of what I got. It smells really nice. So, I don't think I've ever properly talked about... It fell out of my hand. I don't think I've ever properly talked about this on stream before. But I love wax melts. I do have a wax warmer. I broke myself again because I'm holding something. Hold on. Reset. Thank you. And... I was looking online. You can hear them. Delicious. They smell fantastic. I fucking love it. So the reason why I wanted to buy more wax mounts is because the last time that my daughter went to Ollie's, she got two for me that were two different brands that they have at Walmart. And these were their Mainstays brand, which is the Walmart brand. And then also scent sensationals. I had bought from this brand before. So I was like, oh yeah, it's really cool. Like, I like how they smell and everything. It's just sometimes they can be a little bit too salty or a little bit too sweet. Uh, last time they went to Ollie's, which is a discount bargain store. A massive superstore, pretty much. Really, to say discount, it depends on where you live. If your Ollie's is in a high-end neighborhood, the prices are unfortunately going to be expensive. And they're in, if they're in a more, like, kind of shitty town or a shitty neighborhood, the prices are going to be lower. Ours isn't a 50-50, so it really depends on, like, what you're buying and stuff. If it's something shitty like a wax melter or, like, a like wax melter or a wax warmer, it's going to be less than 10 bucks, less than a dollar, that kind of stuff. If you're trying to buy, like, a lawn chair, eh, 60 bucks. So, my daughter got me one that was... Uh, cupcake scented. Here's some fucking ASMR for all you greedy fucks. It's moving the model. <laughs> I love how it moves the model. It's like her face is here. <laughs> but yeah, this one sounds... Sounds. 
I'm in my ASMR phase, Dad. Grocery ASMR stream, just fucking beating the shit out of a head of lettuce. But you know, it smells really nice. It smells even better when it's warmed. That's how a lot of wax melts are, so it's like, if it smells nice before you warm it, it's gonna smell amazing after it's been warmed up and shit. Wig, I actually managed to show up. Hey, hi. We had to restart because my entire computer decided to shit itself. <laughs> right now we're going over some shit that I bought at the store a couple days ago. <laughs> so anyways, back to the wax uh, wax warmer story. Um, My daughter also, the next time she went, got me this one from Mainstays that's guava lime. And I was like, there's no way this is going to smell good, right? Guys. You're, it, it smells like a soft drink. Like, uh, it smells like a mixed soft drink that you would get at a party in the summer. It, it's crazy. Listen to this shit. Listen to how dense it sounds. That shit is, mm, that shit is fucking bussin'. And they smell so nice. So I was like, okay, next time I go to Walmart, I have to see how expensive they are. The Sensationals ones... These motherfuckers are thick, okay? So it's the, basically, from the tip of your finger to the first knuckle, I would say. Because, yeah, no, you have three knuckles on each finger. You have the top one, the center, and the one that connects the hand. These motherfuckers are thick. <laughs> Excuse me. And I was like, okay, well, how much are they? For the sensational ones, it's only $2.99. And for the mainstays ones, it's only $1.49 at ours. So I was like, I'm getting three of each. <laughs> I'm greedy. But then again, it's like I had to restock my shit because I had to throw out a couple of my old ones because I just wasn't using them because they didn't smell all that great. Or in the case of freshly picked apples, they were actively making me feel like I was sick. Like, I don't mind the scent of apples. I absolutely love apples. I'm not allergic to them or anything. I'll be right back. I was shopping for printer paper. You're not going to miss much. I'll be back soon. All right, have a good time. Go get your printer paper. Go have fun. Go do what you need to do, all that jazz. So, what was I just talking about? No, I'm, I'm being serious. I completely lost my train of thought with the printer paper because I love drawing on printer paper. Oh, that's right, the wax melts. So I decided to get three of each because I'm a greedy fuck. And I had to throw out a couple of the old ones. Like, I had one that had, like, jasmine in it and stuff that smelled great. But the problem was, is that it just, oh my god. It had, like, the smell of salt through it. And the apple one made me fucking throw up. That was a different one entirely. That one, I have a package of another one that I bought from that uh, set when I went. Better Homes and Gardens. It was freshly picked apples. And it's just like, I love the smell of apples. I love how they taste and everything. I'm not allergic. Sorry, I had to put stuff over. And what ended up happening was I had recently done it before I had gone on this adventure to go to the store. Happy little adventures. All that bullshit. And I was like, okay, I'm going to warm a wax warmer really quick. Because, you know, um, let's see, it happened yesterday. No, that had to have happened, like, before. It was at some point last week, because the kid wasn't home. Uh, I actually vomited, because the smell was so overwhelming. And I was like, does it smell this bad in the package? And I smelt the pack, and it's just, oh my god, I had to go puke again. I was like, what the fuck? So I threw that out, I threw out the one that had the strong scent of salt, because, I, I hate to say it, my husband may need ex like excess because he has a uh, sodium deficiency. I hate salt. It just it makes stuff taste gross. I don't like how it smells. It just it makes me feel fucking awful. So I had to throw that out too, and I was left with three, which was the guava one. Or actually, no, I was left with four. The cupcake one that my daughter had bought me. The mainstays one my daughter had bought me. Then also, two other ones that I'm going through right now, before I even went to go to the store. Um, from Sensationals, Enchanted. It's blackberry and patchouli. And it smells really nice. And usually, I'll pair it with, I believe it's called Fantasyland, which was also another blend of, like, fruits. It smells so nice. So this one reminds me of, like, an aroma that a man would wear. And then 
the fantasy land one reminds me of an aroma that a woman would wear so it's like a very nice common it's basically like we're making the wax melts have sex <laughs> love me a good wa watermelon wax melt i gotta try watermelon too they had a good amount of like just fucking ones that were like food so maybe next time i'll go back and get more but i felt so bad uh right before like right before i start going into what i got i felt so bad because like i had bought like ten dollars worth of stuff because i bought like Three of the two ninety nine ones, and three of the one forty nine ones, and then I bought two nail polishes that were both one ninety nine, and my mom had bought stuff as well, and she goes, "Okay, you can pay for the food because obviously I have food stamps." Like we've mentioned before, it's not a bad thing. It's actually very helpful. Please never feel bad if you have to have food stamps. They're actually very helpful, and they make it so that you can save up money. That is very desperate right now. Please understand. So. I bought the food and she was like, I will pay for all of the not food items. And I was like, oh, oh no. Because I felt awful because I had spent so much. But she spent $20 more than I did. So she was like, no, I'll do it anyways. Because your money needs to stay on your card for your phone and stuff. So you have more important stuff and I have $40. So I don't really care. Also, it's like she bought like $30 in food. So she was like, it's just me paying it back to you. It's no big deal. I'm like, I still feel bad about it. I feel awful about that kind of shit because I'm like, I need to be able to pay for stuff myself. And she's like, no, you bought $150 worth of food. Let me do something for you. Holy shit. But yeah, the other one that I was working through was coconut lime. I've only used this twice and it smells like floor cleaner. I don't mind the smell, though. I like the smell of like cleaning products because I'm because I'm a freak. Well, let's go ahead and get into the kinds that I bought at the store. This is even before food. We literally went and uh, did this. Oh, yeah. Fuck. No, I also bought nail polish from River 2. So it was more like $14. But same difference. So we're going to start with the mainstays ones first, since those ones are smaller. And to be honest, for $1.49, Massive amount of smell. Holy shit. I was not expecting the blast in my ass from the smell of this stuff. Hey, have you calmed down a bit? Yeah, I have, Exodus. I have. Uh, unsubscribe. The unsubscribe podcast crew actually helped me out a lot with their most recent episode from like three days ago. The one where they were talking about their live shows. That helped me out a lot. So... And then uh, I ended up forgetting about everything because I pissed myself off with our last stream. <laughs> All right. Glad to hear that. Thank you. The video will stay up because it's like I do feel like that a lot, unfortunately. It's all mental stuff. Very unfortunate. I've had the issues for a while and I feel like, oh, if YouTube's not pushing out, that's my fault. When in reality, it's it's their faulty fucking servers like. The stream from yesterday, that asked the grocery stream from yesterday that got renamed, unfortunately, it probably will be renamed again and be like, hey, um, in the description of this, we talk about this more in this other stream, etc. whatever. Still watching from time to time, as I promised, I'm more of a lurker. I don't mind lurkers. Like, if you have to go and do other shit, perfectly fine. But my problem is, is that YouTube will cuck me sometimes and be like, oh, OK, there are this many people talking in your chat. However, your viewers right now are at like two or zero. And it's like, why? Why Why in the hell is the view count there in the first place? Like, I don't want to know how many people are there. I just want to know it's like, are there people talking in the chat? Can it be seen on the screen? Can it be seen on my screen? Can they actually talk in the chat amongst each other? Problem solved. That's all I need. That's all I need. It's just mentally my head was in the toilet because I'm like, I'm not doing enough. I'm not good enough. I have to keep being humbled by my fucking community because it's like, no, Allison, you're doing fine. Stop being fucking stupid. Stop letting your autism consume you and just fucking work. Like, that's all you need to do. You want this to work? You have to work for it, bitch. Your MD shit do's fine. Now you have to prove that you're a real man, okay? <laughs> I know how it feels. I always turn... I always turn that setting off so I don't see how many people are there. The problem is, is that on um, Streamlabs, I don't think I can turn it off. <laughs> if I can, like, 
get in the Discord and, like, DM me the settings to do that and shit. Such toilet thoughts. Of course. Hey, my head is in the fucking toilet 24-7. I'm in the toilet so much they call me butthead, alright? Alright. Let's go ahead and get up these wax warmers up my ass, shall we? Sadly, Twitch only. God damn it. YouTube, every fucking time, everyone praises you for your mastery of how much you just do not allow sluts and shit on this platform. You fuck up again. You know, the thing is, like, all of them being here makes it smell like gum. Streamlabs OBS? Yes. I tried doing it on, uh, just straight up OBS, but... Uh, it wouldn't let me do anything, and it was severely lagging my stuff. And at least Streamlabs OBS doesn't fuck it up, so... Yeah. Bungle, I feel the same way all the time. For me, it's the imposter syndrome of watching much bigger and much developed creators, so wondering why I'm going so slowly towards where they are. Let me check using it, too. Alright, get back to me on that one. Um, so, for me, it's comparing myself to where I used to be as an MMDer, which, we discussed this before. For those who weren't around, I ended up getting up to 1,500 subs. And at that point, YouTube decided to stop pushing out my content. And this was before I knew almighty Master Thor with his gigantic, long, luscious hair and all that shit. This was before I knew the method of if your shit is fucking up and faltering. I would say, and this is what he did, and I don't think that it works anymore. Make it so that this video doesn't go to your subscribers. Make it so this video goes to other people's feeds. Because if you don't have certain settings enabled in the video settings themselves, stuff ends up fucking up. We have a video about it if you want to know more about that. Or just go and watch his short because um, his shorts are so much more, I will say, alluring, more ferret-filled than mine are. Mine are just full of an autistic rat. Streamlabs OBS in the upper right corner next to the view count is an eye icon. Toggle it to show and hide the video. Well, you can press it. Oh my god! It was it was that easy? Are you fucking me right now? Don't do it. Yeah, I know that shorts don't do it. Doesn't work for the small people. It was working for a bit. It was working for a bit on the MMD stuff because a lot of the stuff over there was getting over 400 views. It's just that now they kind of made it so that like. It fucks up. No, I've also heard where it's like bigger people are having the issue too, where it just stops going out to people in general, so. Yeah, I would say they fixed, they quote unquote fixed that issue. Thanks a lot, Jonathan YouTube. You can go suck my dick. Like, every fucking time there's a great thing, you want to tell people about it. But then when you tell people about it, the execs at wherever company you're doing stuff or Whatever thing you're talking about, get wind of it and immediately are like, okay, quote unquote, fix it. Make it so that people can't, can't prosper off of doing this kind of stuff. To be honest, though, um, the fact that over a thousand people, including on TikTok, Instagram, and over here on YouTube, some people over on Twitter have seen my stupid face. Yeah, I don't want that many people here. <laughs> YouTube is like a live service multiplayer game where the devs always balance by nerfing what's good, except they don't give you a change log. Oh, so it, wait, what fucking game was that? Fell recently had that with a game. It was either Dark Tide or it was Helldivers, where they were doing a couple of things and they just did not provide a fucking update log. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Hold on, what the fuck are you putting in my Discord? Hold on a second. Maybe cute cat memes will work or react with them. No, I no, because then people will be like, she's copying Shy Lily. Like, because I've had instances where for some stupid fucking reason, people decide to say I'm copying big YouTuber. And they say this on Twitter DMs so that it's not public. And it's fucking stupid. Because you want to know what I do to you if you DM me on Twitter? Because I do have my DMs open for just in case something ends up happening. Okay? Because there are big people on Twitter. And there are also bots on Twitter. And I like seeing what the bots say from time to time. 
I look at your message, and if you say that I'm plagiarizing someone's content, I immediately delete it. Because no one, like, who the fuck? Motherfucker, are you trying to be the fine bros? Copycat abusers are just fucked up people. Can people not react to certain stuff? Did the fine bros end up actually going through that? Is Shy Lily John, Br I mean, Jonathan Shy a uh, fine bro? No, I don't think so. If random nobodies like myself are allowed to look at things, comment on them, talk about them and stuff like that, does that mean that I have taken over the entirety of, oh, let's look at the pjsec.ai asset viewer? No, only I can do that. No! Absolutely not! She's gatekeeping cats? Look at me. I don't fucking think so, okay? <laughs> Trust me. Other people are allowed to react to stuff. Stop coming into my DMs and being like, you just want to be like this person. No, because if I wanted to be, uh, I would make myself look way more sexually appealing. Are you kidding me? I look like a librarian. Like, seriously. <laughs> I look like I should have on a pair of 60s glasses and have my hair short as shit. Like, come on. I look like I should be wearing the puffy sweater that I wore in a couple of my uh, thumbnails for stuff. <laughs> the same fucking sweater that I wore in the I'll be back soon thumbnail. <laughs> You'd add a boob window? Oh my god. Hey guys, do you want to stream through my tits? No. Show me that forehead. I look like a, I look like a fucking clown. Good. We need more clowns now. Because we need more people to actually look like clowns than to just act like them. You know what I mean? Seriously. Don't do clownish behavior if you're not going to fucking put on the wig. Put on the fucking wig, Jesse. It's time. Let's get back to these wax warmers because, or wax warmers. Hello, my name is Jonathan Davis and I am reviewing wax warmers today. Today we have the Pendleton 5000. Now this wax warmer is very dangerous because it'll burn down your fucking house. <laughs> the jiggle physics on the game be kind of huge. Put jiggle physics on my fucking forehead. It's not the titty's fault, alright? Like, at least they're not like bobbing all over the fucking place. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you don't act like a clown. There are some people who should be looking like clowns because they sure as fuck act like them. Exhibit A, uh, the slutty cunt that we were talking about the other day with her gigantic boobs out. That's talking about, like, uh, what are and what are not Twitch violations nowadays while having her tits going... You know what I mean? Um, let me see. We also have just crazy motherfuckers that are doing illegal shit that should be wearing the clown makeup. Like, what the fuck is that dumbass's name? John Johnny Somali. Apparently tried starting shit in Israel of all places and got his hands, got his ass handed to him by a chick. Like, female police officer murk this motherfucker, all right? You know, if Johnny Somali doesn't start acting right, and I mean like an at normal human, I'm not telling him to act like any other way than he, like, Fuck, I don't know how the hell to phrase it without sounding very wrong. If that boy don't start acting right, someone is gonna just fucking shoot him. I think that's the main reason why people are still watching Johnny Somali streams. It's the hope and desire that someone fucking kills him and it's caught on stream. No balls. Nuts on the table. That is literally the only reason why people are still watching Johnny Somali. And I hate to say it, but it is fucking true. I don't watch him. But I do have a couple friends that do, and it's like, today's gonna be the day, we got bets on it, and then nothing happens, and they're like, well, I just wasted, like, hours of my life watching this fucking R-word stream. <sighs> Ridiculous. You know, you could have spent that time watching Bungle Scrungle live now- no. <laughs> could you imagine it's like, hey, Johnny Somali's on, come watch my shit instead. <laughs> you wanna see some real incompetence? Have it- have it happen with someone who's safe in their house. Live event, we're taking his nuts. Nuts on the table. <laughs> we but meanwhile, Bungle on that one shirt talking about her tits. My tits are fucking massive. Well, I mean, I recently did one where I was talking about someone's feet, so 
Do you really blame me for trying to be out of pocket as possible? Dude, that's what ends up getting the 400 views. You humans have allowed your worst actors to appropriate and corrupt my people's glorious culture. <laughs> my people! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so, as a person who has Native American blood in them, I will say this much. That is fucking true. <laughs> that is a true statement that literally anyone could say. <laughs> like, you could say that about white people and it would be true, but it makes you sound, in, like, indifferent as fuck. You say that about clowns, and people are like, you know what, we should really respect them. <laughs> no, no. Give him a game studio! Do it now! We need to know what he's gonna be doing for the West. That actually sounds very wrong if you put it into the context of, like, everything that's happening. <laughs> Please don't key me as being a racist. I am not a racist. I think everyone deserves to be able to prosper properly. I think everyone deserves to have rights. Please do not cancel me for saying stupid shit about clowns. Because a clown could be any race. For example, I am blue. This is what's gonna make, like, everything fuck up. I say stupid out-of-pocket shit like that, and people are like, she's fucking racist? I can't believe- She's siding with the people who don't like Sweet Baby Ink. Could you believe this shit? She's racist. You're purple. I'm not racist, I'm just really stupid. Also, to be fair, let me fix myself, because I'm up here. To be honest, I think the shit that uh, Sweet Baby Inc. is actively doing in the games industry and has been accused of doing and has actually been shown doing and stuff like that. Um, let's say no. Um, fucking Stellar Blade is not trying to start a sexual cult because it has an accurate depiction of a Korean woman as its main character. Maybe I want to play as sexual, like, as a sexual woman. Maybe I want to play as a person with huge tits that doesn't look like they've just been through the ringer at a fucking... A how long? 57-hour job? You lady boner gone? I can't believe the Bungle would say shit like this. You know what? I've been wanting to cancel Bungle for fucking years, and the Sweet Baby Ink thing is, like, right on the table. No! I wanted Aloy to look cute. I didn't want her to look like she looks like a fucking abomination. Like, come on. Suicide Squad game would have been great if it wasn't for them, because everyone and their mother who worked on the game had been saying shit like that. A lot of people that worked on the games that were were literally saying shit like, yeah, everything was fine until Sweet Baby Ink got involved. Like, and now there's this new thing called Bridge. Like, what the fuck? I'll be in the kitchen making ramen. Gonna be lurking. See you later. Hope that ramen is slurpable. Enjoy your ramen. Oh my god. Bungle Scrungles has out-of-pocket stuff. VTubers with no context. Yeah, right. <laughs> they need to add those boss baby. No! Get the boss baby the fuck out of here. No. I don't want the boss baby. Why am I playing with- Oh yeah, we were gonna talk about the wax melts and then I went on a fucking tirade. You're a bunch of fucking- No! Get Kramer out! Get Kramer out of here. Melt some butter into your ramen broth. Ooh. Eight little Caesars and now I can't shit. I, I need to poop. <laughs> I need to poop, but it won't come out. <laughs> <laughs> I hate, because I keep getting recommended her, like, shitting videos, because people in her community have a shit fetish. <laughs> clip that. People do have the ability to clip things now, but I don't know if it'll actually work as, like, here, make it into a video. I don't know. I feel it there, but nothing happens. Drink my gamer stop. No. <laughs> okay. 
let's stop talking about shit, because the next thing that's going to happen is we're going to talk about feet, and then I'm going to have to talk about the Dan Schneider thing. It does work like that. Hi, Modu, welcome. Let's finish on the wax melter thing, because these motherfuckers are burning a hole in my ass. So I got... <laughs> it's very, like, lukewarm and lackluster compared to, like, let's talk about really disgusting shit that's going to get people to come into the stream and be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Now I'm back. You didn't miss much. <laughs> so I got these three because they look interesting. I got one named Cabana Fiesta. I got one called Float All Day. And I got one called Rainbow Sherbet. So these ones are for mainstays. Dude, the smells of these things are fucking crazy. I'm going to save the best one for last. So the first one we have up here is Rainbow Sherbet. Or Sherbet? Whatever, I say Sherbert. So this one has grapefruit, mango, and pineapple in it. Now, I'm a fan of two of three of these things. I fucking hate mangoes. However, it doesn't smell bad. The scent... Like, grapefruits are very strong. I'm able to use the clip button. I'm working, though, so trust someone else to be on top of that. Sherbert. Sorbet. It doesn't say sorbet, though. It's spelled like H... Yes, Sherbert starts with an H. Fucking fantastic, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> S-H-E-R-B-E-T. So I think it's Sherbet, but for some reason my brain goes Sherbert. I have my mom's dyslexia, I am so sorry. So grapefruits are super powerful, so are pineapples. So mango kind of gets lost in the fray, but it's not bad. It actually smells really nice. I think this one, or one of the other ones, maybe one that is doing Fucking with ya. <laughs> this one might be the next one I use unless I use one of the sensational ones. The sensational ones are fucking pogging up though, dude. Let me grab the next one. Cabana Fiesta. I had to get this just because of how it sounded. So this one has citrus, melon, and dragon fruit. I love dragon fruits. Dragon fruits are one of my top three favorite fruits, and it's because they're very simple. They're not overly flavored, I guess you could say. I opened it. I have it open in front of me. So you see, like, where my tits are. They're in the middle, like, I'm going to say the second line. How could you dislike mango? It's the best fruit ever. It's an issue with um, how it tastes to me, to be honest. So I don't have many issues with fruits and everything. I'm not allergic to anything besides pollen and severely allergic to honeysuckles, which, thank God, are not around me. Uh, if I get around anything that has honeysuckle in it, I do end up breaking out really bad and my throat ends up closing up. So that's really the only thing I have to avoid. But mango, I just don't like how it tastes. I don't think I've had a properly ripened one. I think that's the problem. You're allergic to Poland? Fuck yeah, that's why I don't go there anymore. See Spanish, I have to get it. <laughs> oh my god. No, fucking, we tried the kit on the uh, Jaritos, or uh, Jaritos. I don't remember how the fuck it's pronounced, because you have to roll the R, and I can't do that with my stupid mouth. Brrr. Anyways. Because Fel was like, okay, a little bit of a branch off here. Fel was like, okay, so I want to see if the kid will drink this, because it's less carbonated soda, technically. Very close to juice, but less carbonated soda. She drinks it, she said it was fine. Because she had the Mandarin one. And she gets to... I'm going to say she wanted half of a bottle of it in a cup. She has a very special cup. It's small so that she can hold it and not drop it and everything. Because she has tiny hands. Because she's only eight. And what happens is she's getting to the bottom of the cup. And she goes... Can I be done? This tastes gross. I'm like, what's wrong? Is it fizzy? She goes, uh-huh. It's carbonated. I don't like that. <laughs> Jaritos. <laughs> oh my god. I can't speak Spanish to save my life. I have married into a family of Puerto Ricans and Mexicans, and I just cannot speak Spanish at all, so I will never be able to talk to most of them, which is very sad. The funny part is, this Puerto Rican motherfucker fell. He can't speak Spanish! No! Instead, he's like, oh, okay, I'm Puerto Rican, and the school's like, all right, you're going in the French class. <laughs> He barely knows French, but he knows enough to fuck with people. But this much, you would think that you would want to know Spanish to be able to talk to your family. He's like, no, Spanish is stupid. 
Oh my god. I think I'm like fucking hallucinating at this point because of the smell of this because it's at my tits and I can smell it wafting up to my nose. I speak three languages, but certain circumstances were in it. Damn, he's a no sa He's a no sabo. He was abused by a white woman. I completely understand, like, where he's coming from, though. That's the problem. You're going to the French class. Okay? <laughs> no, the reason why he doesn't like it is because he wasn't really around his family all that much, and his mother was uh, severely abusive and didn't let them really be Spanish. So... Yeah, it it's bad. Honestly, I don't know why that motherfucker's with me. His mother was white and was a very... I'm not going to get into details because it's very personal shit. But he's it was not treated nicely, is what I will say. Basically had to be the parent in the house, is what I will say. It was treated very neglectfully by his mother and stuff. I'm surprised this motherfucker does not have an... Ill, like, does not have a massive hatred towards white people. No, he's fine with them. He had to work through his fucking misogyny to be with me. <laughs> and I was like, babe, it's okay. I'm misogynist too. And he goes, oh, but that's a fucking relief. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't like women because of, like, stuff that you see on the internet all the time. I just don't like women. I like certain women. I don't like all women. Definitely not all women. Especially not if it's like you worked your way to the top by just flaunting your tits. Like, come on, Amaranth, you barely did any work. Come on, girl. Take the take the Dolly Parton cowgirl hat off. You'll never be her. You're not that girl. Anyways, I have to close this or else I'm going to fucking start. So let me smell this shit. So this one is uh, Cabana Fiesta, Citrus Melon, and Dragon Fruit. It's not watermelon, it is just melon. The melon and the dragon fruit shine through a lot. Citrus, very diluted, but I feel like if you warm it up, it will be there. You're done. You're done. Come on, Amaranth, uh, sit down. You are so fucking done. Um, hello, I'm wearing the Dolly Parton outfit. <laughs> yeah. You do realize that Dolly's tits aren't fake, right? Burned. Burned. Absolutely fucking desecrated. Your grave is now slanted and full of jizz that is not yours. Dead. Anyways. Float all day. Highly fragrant. Waves, water lily, and bamboo leaf. Now, I love me some water lily. Water lilies are my favorite scent in flower because I can't really tolerate them that much. And this one is actually the one that is in my wax warmer that is on right now. Oh, it, it smells like candy. Not the jizz. Hey, it ain't mine. That's all that matters. It smells so nice. That was a very good voice impression there. I don't know who I was impress like who I was impersonating, but yeah. Girl, that alpha was ruined the moment she put it on. Mm -mm -mm. Fucking cat in the hat. <laughs> but yeah, like water lily and bamboo leaf goes really well together. What the fuck is the scent of a wave? That That's another issue with, like, some of, like, wax melts and stuff like that. It's, like, they're concepts. People do this with candles as well. This smell is a concept. Like, what the fuck is this supposed to mean? I won't reference them, but they're very petty. You're good. A lot of female streamers are petty, unfortunately. It's now getting to the point where that's also in the VTuber scape of stuff, which is, you know, very unfortunate. Um, please do not force people to pay to get into your landscape. That is literally sabotage, and I will not, I will not tolerate that shit. I will deadass call you out and be like, dude, fuck you, suck my balls. Put an entire Glock on the table and shove it in your mouth. You're done. <laughs> so, these next three, those ones were from Mainstays. We're getting through this whether you like it or not. Ball sack on my ass. Dead balls. This next one, all three of these are from Sensationals. What? Ex suck my balls. How would you like to suck my balls? What did you say? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't do car. I used to be able to do Cartman. I can't do Cartman anymore. How would you like to suck my balls? It's not even close. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. When I type hee hee, I don't mean hee hee. I mean. <laughs> Where are the balls? I mean, 
it, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? So, for those who don't know, I say that kind of stuff because I was mainly raised around guys. And I'll say stuff that has to do with guy shit. I'm not a guy, okay? That's why I say shit like, nuts on the table, no balls, suck my dick, fuck my ass. Oh god, I opened this one and I'm like, I want to put this in now. Jesus. So this one is girlfriend night. It's bubbly berry, uh, no, it's, yeah, no, bubbly berry bliss. I would recommend if you like perfumey sense of, like, fun and energy, you go and get this one. Not sponsored, but... It reminds me of a Victoria's Secret perfume that I have smelt in passing and never sprayed on me. So fucking good. Holy shit. Like, it also smells like there's some maple syrup in there, too. Somehow, like, it's so fucking good. Holy dick. I grew around with mostly females as friends as a guy. I didn't like girls. Most male humans just leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fucking cringe. What are these yellow things on your hair? They're supposed to be, um... So you know scrunchies from, like, the 90s? Where they used to be, like, really poofy? They're supposed to be scrunchies, but since I'm dumb, uh, I had to do it with hair. And they look like bugs in my hair, unfortunately. <laughs> They look like bugs! <laughs> it looks like I have fucking golden scarabs in my fucking hair. <laughs> oh my god, the limitations of fucking find, like, fuck around and find out when it comes to working with B-Roid are like, you can do something really good if you have the skills, but if you don't, God fucking help you. There's a candle from Bath and Body Works that I bought for $25 and they never brought it back. Oh, that is... Oh my god. <laughs> I could never buy a candle for $25. I'm a cheapskate. I a thousand percent am. The most splurgy thing that I do is I buy wax melts. The major splurge off of that was buying a warmer, but it was only seven bucks. Also at Ollie's not sponsored, by the way. Suck my dick. Um, yeah, like, I don't think I could ever spend, like, I know it's good value for the price, because it's like, usually you're getting gigantic fucking candles. They're gonna last a year or longer. I haven't bought candles before. Basically, it's, smell is number one. If you like the way it smells before it's burnt, literally just smell the wax and shit like that. Fantastic. You have to start looking at a price. If you're paying over $50 for a candle, I think you're stupid. 25 especially like as leo said it's a giant one no that is a good fucking value oh god like you can smell the wax in this one i wish i bought more at the time leo marie out here spending like fucking 300 dollars on candles i just need them uh, give them all to me now <laughs> oh <laughs> fucking why why <laughs> Fucking shit, I don't even remember what the fuck his name is. Fuck, what the hell's his name? Lord Frieza, Vegeta's really giving us a padding. I'm coming, Zarbron! Quick, grab my balls! Don't say anything! Hello? Hello. How was everything? I went to the doctor. Oh, how stupid. Really? Okay, I went there. Okay, I have water on the knee. That's the one thing. I have wa definitely have water. Yeah. Okay. And so they're going to put in a thing for a request for a MRI of the knee. Mm. But they don't know if they'll accept it because Fidelis doesn't usually do that unless after you do physical therapy and have shots in your knee. Yeah. So, they gotta wait back for an answer on that. Mm. And that's about it. That's all it was? That's literally completely the whole visit. That doesn't seem like it was worth it at all. No. But she did order a, a brace. Well, that's good. That goes through um Palmer's? Yeah. 
She said if you get it online, it's 30 bucks. But if you get it there, she don't know what it would cost, but it shouldn't be that much more, she said. Okay. So she put an order in, and it takes a, oh, it takes a, a day or two before they even get the script, even though you send it right away. Hmm. So they'll call me when it comes out, or when, it, when they got one. Okay. It's got the metal. Yeah. So. But she says there's definitely something wrong with the knee, but you can't tell, and you can't until you see the pictures. Yeah. There's definitely nothing broken, so. So that's how that is. And every time she moved my leg, it hurt like I said. She told me to do it like bicycle. Yeah. I said, if this is what therapist called, I said, that's not going to do nothing. I'm not going to be able to do it. I said, yeah, I'll do it. I'm going to be in torturous pain, but I got to go to work afterwards. Yeah, and who knows afterwards if you'd even be able to move. Yeah. I said, I said, and she goes, well, I'm going to, I'm going to give you time. I said, for what? She goes, well, I'll give you time off until it heals. Hmm. I said, oh, you can't do that. I said, I have to work. I said, I'm a soul. I have to live. I have to be able to survive. Yeah. And they're not going to pay me. Nobody's going to pay me to stay home. I said, cause I didn't do it at work. My dog did it. I said, so, well. If you get what you can't work, let us know. We'll give you we'll give you an excuse not to work. But would they accept it? That would be the problem. Oh, mine would accept it. Hmm. It's just the point. I won't get paid. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't do it at work. Yeah. So I'd just be out of work until I could go back. Hmm. Because she goes, sometimes we have to have surgery. You got to do, they give you a shot. Sometimes you have to go to surgery. Matters what exactly is messed up on you. Yeah. She goes, but by looking at it, she goes, I don't think it's ligaments. They would already healed. Yeah. Ligaments, when they tear, they heal within a week or two. So it's cartilages or it's a, a, or some other name she called. So it's messed up. Yeah. Without a doubt. She goes, they'll send you for physical therapy if they do. It won't work because it's physical. It never works, but that's what they'll do anyway. Yeah. And then they'll send you for an MRI and they'll give you a shot in your knee and of cortisone. And then after that, after you go through all the physical therapy they want you to go through, then they'll take and send you for an MRI. So it can take up to a year before you get an MRI. Why wouldn't they just do an MRI first? Because it's fidelis. Right. Our lovely. Because you got a lot of people that are fake. Yeah. They fake to have a boo-boo. Yeah. That's why. Right off the bat, just because I work every day. So you 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 clearly must be faking if you're still going to work. (laughs) And she knows, she goes, I had, I I mean, I was like, oh my God, that hurt. (laughs) She knows, I mean. You could, and it swelled up and everything else. It hasn't gone down any. Yeah. I mean, it's the same as it was. It hasn't gotten worse, if anything, or better. If anything, it's gotten worse. The first time it was bad, but that was it. But still, yeah. you know, if I can't walk without the thing on my brace, on my foot, or on my leg. Yeah. I mean, so something's wrong with it without a doubt. I said, no matter what, something's wrong with it. I said, I won't be here. I said, I'm not a wimp. I said, I'm usually a fast walker and everything else, and I have all I can do to move because it hurts so bad. Yeah. And my leg won't let me move. She's like, well, you can tell something's wrong with it. Without a doubt, something's wrong with it. It needs to have, you know, it's probably going to need surgery, but we have to go through the steps. Yeah. So it could take six months to a year for surgery. You know? Then And I got to go for a visit here every month. Ugh. I mean, granted, it didn't cost nothing. You know how it says that you got to pay a debt? I mean, even if I would put that, because you fill out paperwork, it says what does it expect if you, when you visit, you visit. Yeah. It says 25. That's what ours says, because that's a specialist. Mm-hmm. And, no, I didn't have to pay nothing. I still don't get why the hell it because has those on them. Because the I have to pay. That's exactly what she said. The Dallas, there is no co-pays. There is none. I don't get why the hell they put those on our cars, then. That doesn't make any sense. Isn't that dumb? It's stupid. Probably so people won't go to the doctors. Oy. You know that, don't you? 
so yeah. they can get, you know, pain meds. Yeah. You know, falsify, you know, oh, my leg hurts, you know. Oh, my back. Oh. Back. <laughs> and if they have to pay 25 bucks, they're not going to want to go. Yeah. That 25 bucks, they could be getting some pills or drugs or whatever the world they do. Yeah. That's why. I bet you, because I haven't had a copay yet. Mm. And I've been to three different places, and not one of them, they keep telling me no. Because I had it all ready to pay it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know nothing. Fidelis is free. Hmm. Like, oh, okay. Even though it says it. She goes, I don't know why it says it. They all say it. It makes no sense. She goes, I think it's because that way maybe people that don't really need it, if yeah. they think you got to pay, they won't pay. That's exactly what she said. Yeah. The nurse in the place. Because, like, this one's 25. If you go to the, if we go to our physical, you know, our PCP, yeah. it's 20, or um, 15. If you go to the ER or urgent care, it's 75. I haven't paid anything. Yeah. And you got to pay it on the spot. It says right on it, or they won't, you won't be seen. Yeah. And I was seen every time. So that says we don't have a copay. That's just to scare people off, I'm guessing. So you can still go to the doctors because there is no copay. Mm. Just be prepared to have the fifteen dollars or the whatever year. No. Yeah. Even though you won't have to pay it. I mean, because not going to the doctors if you need to go isn't good either. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it's one thing if nothing's wrong with you. Only reason I'm going is something's wrong with me, or I wouldn't be going. Well, I'm I would completely stop. Well, remember, you also weren't going to be going if. Like, also, like, the time when it's like, oh, your heart murmur shit and everything, too. Well, I'm not going to that. I know you're not going to that, because but it's like... Any, they're not finding anything positive wrong with it. I know, but the you know only reason... Yeah, the only reason you went to that, though, was because they were like, oh, we're worried, so we have to check and everything, and they made you fucking panic over it for no fucking reason. Yeah, and there wasn't a thing... It's, it's, been, a, it's been like this forever. Ma said I always had some... I, my heart makes noises. So yeah. it's a heart murmur. Yeah. That's why you, when you lay down, you can hear it. And it gets really, really loud. If you stand next to me close enough, you were touching me, you'd hear it. Yeah. Because you'd feel it. Yeah. Yeah. And that's always been that way. That's nothing, nothing new. I don't know how the world, you know, because when the, my other doctor, the one before this one, goes, that's normal. It's in your record. You've been doing this been like this since you've been little you came out having a problem with your heart when it came down to that and ed had a hole in his heart and eric's got a murmur also yeah we all had c-sections you know yeah that's why we had c-sections in the first place because something was you know because we had that because then they if you have that they give you you have to have c-section because something could be wrong with the baby yeah and Mel almost died with Eric. Or with that, I mean. Yeah. Because she also, her insides came out of her while she was delivering. Her female part. Yes, and I know. they all back in there. And they, told, they suggested her not to ever have children again. Yeah. And then she got pregnant for me. Then she got pregnant for Eric. Then she got pregnant for Chucky. Then she got pregnant again. But she aborted that one. Mm-hmm. Because she was older. She wasn't going to deal with it. So, pretty much they did nothing other than I might get, I'm going to get a brace out of the deal. But if the brace will probably be 100 bucks. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, it's 30 on the internet. I mean, yeah. it'll probably be 50, 60 bucks, if not more. Yeah. At the store. My guess. <laughs> I don't know, but I gotta have one, but because I'd rather have one and be able to walk better than torturing the pain here. Yeah. But I don't know if work will let me wear it. I don't even know if work because, will let you take off, to be honest. Oh, they'd let me take off. With how crazy it's been lately, though? I just, like with them switching stuff around yeah, I just and stuff? Yeah, that don't matter. Because that don't kick in until, September, until July. 
Right. Okay. But I might be out. I might be out till John. Then who knows? Yeah. But I would just I would just be out on sick leave, and I just wouldn't be getting paid. Yeah. And I'd have to go on. I'd have to go on food stamps and stuff. Yeah. I'd have to go on full just you know. Food, I'd have to go on DSS. Yeah. Because I'd have no income. Yeah. Because it's not covered by work when I didn't do it at work. But I would just use up my sick time that I have. Yeah, because it's not like and you don't my, have it. Because I, I, I used it two times this week, cause, last week, because they put it on those two snow days. Yeah. I think I've used three altogether since I've started. Hmm. Because when Ma was, when Ma died, I got paid for that just because of Ma dying. Yeah. You get three days off and I only took one, but they allow you three. You get paid for it, so it don't come out of your stuff. Hmm. I mean, I probably have at least 40, at least 40 to 60 days that I can use. It came down to it. Yeah. But, but, I'm not trying to, I don't want to take time off, I don't. What good would it be me taking time off? What, for you to quote unquote rest your leg? That makes things worse. That I wouldn't be able, that I wouldn't be able to do. Because I'm not going to just sit here. They, they make me say, if all of a sudden I get taken out of work, I'm going to be doing stuff around the house. Yeah. Plus, not... I can't move. Yeah. Because <laughs> I can't just lay there. I can't just sit there. It hurts my back. It hurts my rib cage. Hurts the leg. It hurts my leg in general. Because she was going to give me time off until it was healed. Well, when exactly would that be healed? I I mean, yeah, exactly. Being that, you know. Being that they're, like, questioning, like, oh, you might have to go into surgery for this. That means it's not going to heal. No, it's not going to heal on its own. Only way it's going to get healed is if it goes through surgery. Yeah. There is no other way. Even if when I do the physical therapy and I have to have, because they're going to give me, if I have to do the physical therapy, I got to go in and get a shot in my life. Yeah. To be able to do the physical therapy. The cortisone shot. Yeah, I know. Which is with a humongous needle. Yeah. Because Ma had it done and so did Mary. Ugh. And someone's got to, and you got to have someone come and drive you home. Ugh. Mary Mary's always, Mary don't have a car. Yeah. Whether she likes it or not, I, I had to take her off my thing. She's not, I can't get her to, because she don't have a car. They said the person has to have a driver's license and a vehicle. Yeah. Well, Mary don't have that. So I don't have anybody on mine. Because you don't either. No. And I can't put Dane, he's too far, or Eric's too far away. No. Or, not Eric. David's too far away. That's what they said. Yeah. So I don't have anybody because Mary don't have a car. Yeah. Mary would be like, well, I could use yours. She ain't driving my car. Hell no. I don't need that thing getting crashed. I don't want her crashed. driving my car ever. Then she came, she talked to me last night. Oh, hold on. Right. She calls me up telling me how, how. Shh. Personal shit. Why? The lady wants more info on this. Yeah. And then the rest of them are driving. That doesn't make any sense. You're literally there for like not even eight hours. Yeah. That's just stupid.
Yeah. 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 
Okay. accepting bribes from China and Ukraine using American assets to enrich his family and borderline treason. Oh, that and he's fully senile. I get him being senile. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. should have made it so that's like pretty much like young fives.
god. I am so sorry. That took way longer than I thought it would. Jesus fucking Christ. No, you don't understand. She went off on 20 different fucking tangents. You get this shit the fuck out of here. Oh my fucking Christ. I love her, but... Oh my god. I wish I would have put the phone sooner. <sighs> fucking Christ. Runs in the family, huh? My dad was not like this. My grandmother was like this. My mother is like this. I'm like this and hope to fuck the kid isn't. I was not expecting that to go that fucking long. I am so sorry. Like, the first part was fine. When she started talking about her sister, I'm like... Mm -mm. This is personal family shit, not dealing with it. You want to know what it was? Her sister wants to go down to North Carolina for three fucking days. And it's like, do you guys know how long it is from here to North Carolina? It's 18 hours. They would only be spending like a day there. My mother, as well as myself, unfortunately, uh, both of us just cannot fucking stand her because she does nothing but gloat and brag about what she has and shit like that. And this bitch wants to spend... Three days with my mom. You want to know what that would entail? You drive down one day. You sleep. You wake up. You're only there for less than a day. Because then you sleep and you immediately head back to New York. Then, then she started talking about, well, Fell. Sorry, I had to call him Chris. But Fell, um, just had to say something about the possibility of our current president getting impeached. Or them, like, starting to file stuff for it. And then got on that for a little bit. Started talking about how, oh, of course we don't have power, all that kind of shit. Well, I was bored, so the BRB was entertaining. I am so sorry that it took so long. I did not know she was going to call for that long, so now I have to stream for even longer. I literally thought it would just be something about her leg. Truth be told, I should not have gotten fell his milk because he asked me over discord for milk because that's how we text but i did not want to be a disrespectful partner disrespectful wife not obedient not properly taking care of someone whose throat literally feels like it's closing because of the environment that we currently sleep in um yeah the room is very stuffy it can make you feel like shit and that's where the dehumidifier even being on the dehumidifier stopped properly working so i have it unplugged right now Hopefully he does not catch wind of that, because if he does, I'm going to get my ass smacked so hard. Thor himself is going to be able to feel it. <laughs> it is bad. The gods will feel the might of that ass smack so hard. Got it. No, I needed to get him what he needed to, and then he just had to say that, and then she heard it, and blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, also, I didn't know about this. I have to look this up really quickly because she said that on the news yesterday, she saw that Family Dollar is going out of business. And if that is true, we need to talk about it because Family Dollar is fucking disgusting. At least ours are that are taking care of around here. Going out of business. Second result. Dollar Tree announced this? What? When is this from? Hold on. March 26th of 2024. Family Dollar and Dollar Tree will close a thousand stores. When is this one from? Four minute read. March 13th, 2024. USA Today, 313. Family Dollar is closing stores. I need to look up April 2024. What kind of currency is a family? Uh, pesos. Yeah, the first one that shows up is the one from March 26th. Maybe that's the one that she keeps referencing, but I don't get why they would talk about that now. Four weeks ago, four weeks ago, three weeks ago. March 13th, 21st, 26th, 13, 15, 13. There are none from April, but... That one does explain it. I believe we might have talked about this before. I'm not sure. My Dollar Tree was neutral with me. 
I don't think it is really now because now they are in talks, at least, to start incorporating not just $5 items, but $7 items. While also, and this is true, because it says here, as well as through a lot of other places, I'm using uh, the CVS one because it's the one that comes up first and foremost. Dollar Tree announced it is closing 600 of its Family Dollar store locations in 2024. The discount retailer also plans to close an additional 370 Family Dollar stores, plus $30 tree locations over the next few years at the end of their leases. And told the plan culture uh, closures represent about 15% of its Family Dollar locations. Like, the thing is, Family Dollar has been shit for so long. Family Dollar, like, even back in the day was kind of shitty. The only good thing that really you could get out of Family Dollar, and this was for little girls, was the tea, like, the um the tea party set. Do you guys remember what I'm talking about? Where it's, like, a quote-unquote porcelain teapot, and it comes with, like, a little thing for your creamer, and it comes with a big teapot. Big, quote-unquote big. A nice size one for a kid's product. And then, like, it comes with all the, quote, fine china and everything like that. Pretty sure I could find that as well. Toy amazing plastic. Um, porcelain. So it's not Amazon. This is the same thing. Let me see if I can just pull up a picture. So it's this. Every little girl I knew, including myself, had this. However, it was in a bigger thing. Like, it was a much bigger plastic, but it was literally just this. This is what we had as kids. I don't correct those at some time. Um, never you know, never mind you know, never mind. <laughs> My autocorrect is ass. Autocorrect fucking sucks. But, you know, this was literally the tea set to have. It's just it was in a much bigger box. That was really the only good thing that you could get from there. And even now you can get it on Amazon. The price right here is $8.50. Pretty sure that they have that as well in other places. Oh, they have, like, full-on, like, full sets, like, looking different. No, it's the same thing. You can also get it at Walmart for, like, fucking $11. It's a tiny tea set. They also sell them in like Polka Dot and Tasty Gourmet. And regardless, like that was really the only... <gasps> Did I have this? Hold on. No, that has macarons in it. We didn't as a society incorporate macarons until like the 2010s. Okay, never mind. Oh my god. I am so sorry. The main reason why I needed her on the phone in the first place was because... As you heard, today was the day where she actually got her leg inspected by a specialist. And I kind of needed to uh, have that on because we have been talking about that on stream. That is a con like a continuous thing that we've been talking about. And we needed to hear from the horse's mouth herself. That was my mother. No, she does not have an alias or anything like that. I will not say her name. She's just my mother. That is that, plain and simple. The fact that they are telling her, because of our insurance, that in order to even get an MRI, you have to go through the physical therapy first. Absolutely crazy. Hell, right now she's even contemplating if she even wants to work summers this year. My eyes are doing the fucky thing again, I'm sorry. The main reason why we turned on the sensitivity in the first place. I guess I just look very perturbed right now, I'm so sorry. I guess it helps a little bit. I face down first. Like, her situation is absolute ass. Mother Scrungle? No. I don't want her to have, like, a specific name for this, because it's literally going to be, like, maybe once in a blue moon where she will be on and talking. Because it's like, she does end up going on tangents like that. Speaking of a fucking tangent, we never even got to finish the fucking wax melts. She called, and it was very important, so that's the only reason why we did that. I'm going to be going on my first break here in a few minutes. Take care. If you're still streaming in 30, I'll hop right back in. I do have to make up for time. That was almost a fucking hour. 
what was it like an hour and 20 minutes when she fucking came in so i might still be streaming i have no idea oh my god god like i do have to say every time she does call i do have to hear some fuck shit from her sister so you know there's that much because bitch constantly brags about stuff you know how it is all right okay so how about this let's really quickly round out the last two wax melts i got oh my god this is not gonna be like the cheese bit or anything either it's just it's super long and kind of ends a little bit smelly so anyways the second to last one the last two are sensationals ones this one is Marshmallow Krispies. Now, I was looking at wax melts, specifically from this brand, Sensationals, on Google, because I was like, I wonder how many different scents they have. I was about to say flavors. Please do not eat them. I don't care how nice they smell. Please do not eat them. And the first one that popped up in the recommended was these Marshmallow Krispie ones. You want to know what it says it smells like? A sugar rush. So here are the concepts coming out of the word work again. This and the last one are literally concepts of smell. So what it looks like on the packaging is it looks like a Rice Krispie treat made with Cheerios. And in place of Rice Krispies, it's Fruity Pebbles. Obviously held together by that. There's no fucking way. I'm being serious. Let's go. About which thing? The fucking Krispies or about the fucking streaming for a little longer? Because I gotta make up for time. That was a lot of dead air and I, I humbly apologize. <laughs> I'm here. You miss so much and yet also so little. Upon using the content, you are visually addicted to Sugar Rush the game. Oh boy. Like just opening it. It smells like the waxiness of, like, fuck. They have these new, quote-unquote new, because they've been around for a bit. They're Fruit Loops breakfast bars. Long bungle stream, baby. It will be, because I gotta at least go till three to, because of my mom. Thanks. It's not gonna be like how it is normally, I promise. Trust me. I'm not going until, I'm not going for three hours until I feel a reason to go for three hours, okay? Maybe this weekend. I don't know. But yeah, this feels like past, not pasteurized. This feels like pulverized um, fruity pebbles. Nah, but the Lucky Charms ones are the best for real. So I haven't had the Lucky Charms ones. I've only had the Fruit Loops ones and Fell had the, I believe it's Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. I don't remember. The kid tried them and she said that she didn't really like them because of like, how the quote-unquote milk tastes at the bottom of the bar. So she's just kind of like, I'd rather just eat cereal. And apparently that's all she ate when she was at my mother's house the other day. I don't mind how it tastes. Because it's literally just, here's some powdered cereal that we mixed up and did this kind of stuff with and everything. And a little bit of marshmallow to hold it together, etc. I don't mind how it tastes. It's just she's also very picky with her food as you can tell with the entire thing where it's like oh yeah she just does not like anything that's carbonated Reese's Puffs Reese's Puffs beat them up beat them up beat them up beat them up I don't think they even have like anything like that right now for um wax melts they might but it might just literally be like here's a scent of peanut butter and chocolate concoction let me shut off the melter because it's not really producing smell right now thank you but yeah it doesn't smell that bad it's it's it was different. I wanted to smell something different. Also, it's the only like her fucking it's the only one that I didn't realize this when I bought them. It was the only one that had wax melts that weren't pink. Because all of these are pink. <laughs> and I, I didn't realize it when I was buying them, but they're all pink. <laughs> Like, Cabana Fiesta, pink. Float All Day, Dark Magenta. Rainbow Sherbet, Cotton Candy Pink. Girlfriend Night, a dark cranberry color, but still pink. And now the last one we're going to be talking about 
cotton candy cloud. A little off white cotton candy pink. Uh, marshmallow Krispies orange. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Pink is just the best color. I am attracted to the color pink. I do like the color pink a lot. But I, like I looked at it, I'm like, oh my god, I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> I no no diversity. Lots of names. I know, but they all smell fantastic. I love them smells and everything too. So this last one is also a concept of a smell. Cotton Candy Cloud. This one got me interested, and I also saw another one that I could not find at the store that was also another type of cotton candy, but with berry in it. This one's definition and its scent is give is give me some sugar. That is the strangest flavor I've ever fucking heard. What does it smell like, perchance? It smells very sugary. It smells like... I don't know how to explain it. I guess the smell is somewhat like a... Oh, fuck. I guess it would be the smell if you mix a cherry and a strawberry... Um starburst together and then put a little bit more sugar and a dab of salt into the mix which is why i hate it salt i'm pretty sure i will love it when the smell ends up erupting through my nose or ends up coming into my nose come on rigby give me some sugar ah uh, you know how those smell what starburst they smell how they taste don't they like, I mean, you can taste paint without having to put it in your mouth. It's the smell of the paint. That's why I love super fragrant shit. It's because I can taste it in my mouth without having to eat it. Because the smell literally goes through your nose and a slight bit into your mouth. It's aromatic flavor. You guys don't have that? Am I? It's a superpower. <laughs> my superpower is I can taste smells. <laughs> Yeah, it says this is a part of the bakery fragrance family. So for Sensationals, it has a bunch of just eat the paint fuck noses. No, I have to stop myself from eating paint. Olfactory senses, I think. Bro, I would crush a cranial nerve exam. <laughs> I would beat the shit out of a cranial nerve exam. It's like, okay, here's the smell test. What does this smell like? And I'd be like, it tastes like cheese. And the person would be like, the fuck do you mean taste? This is a smell test, you idiot. Eat drywall. No! <laughs> it's just the picture of the dog erupting through the drywall. No, eat it. <laughs> Where is the picture? Oh no! Dog walking through drywall. Give me the picture. It might have to just be dog walking through the- No, the poor dog! Oh my god, no, it's- just... Here it is! And the foyot. Um, save image as... Oh good, it's a JPEG. I don't have to convert this one. Image, yes. <laughs> it's just this. <laughs> Where is he going? <laughs> Where is he going? <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's so adamant on getting out of the drywall. <laughs> I don't know why every time I see the word eat drywall for some, like every time I see like anything that has to do with drywall, it's literally just, okay, hold on. I, I see this picture in my head. <laughs> He's going for a walk, obviously. He's like, I've seen hell. Those people don't pick up their socks. 
Oh my god. <laughs> no, I look like that one chick that was getting banged and got banned for three days. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, put it on the table. Look at him! <laughs> Is he crying in the pit? Is he crying? I don't think he's crying. No, that's parts of the wall. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's my brain if you even care. <laughs> oh my god. Like, for those who are wondering why I literally put everything together, Photoshop it into the background. Hold on. He's too tiny now. There we go. <laughs> He's just there now. That's my dog now. <laughs> I can't put it in the background. I don't have like fours and backs of this shit, do I? Wait a minute. I can... Mm, that's a good idea. Hold on. Yeah, because I have the foreground and the background and different things. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Bungle, you are a dummy genius. <laughs> Thank you, PK. He's just breaking into the room. I have a double wall. Where it's like it goes, and then it goes to like a back wall, and then there's another hallway. <laughs> oh my god, I'm I'm dying. Help me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, my balls. <laughs> Snap me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's just that picture. Every time I see that picture, it, just, it makes me laugh so fucking hard. <laughs> because I, what are you going? The effort. Look, the effort that was needed to put that in was very minuscule, but it is still very funny. <laughs> Look at him. He's so dumb. I love him. It's giving, it's giving, um, fuck. Men doing, like, house deconstruction jobs or like house demolition jobs and they have them in the house and they're going in and it's like oh no oh no oh yeah the guy just breaks through the drywall pretending to be the kool-aid man that that is that is what happens in my brain when i have an idea <laughs> whenever i attempt to have a cognitive thought and it tries to escape that is the dog Oh my god. No, you want to know something really fucking stupid that I should do? I should take pictures of the fucking SH figure arts and, like, Photoshop them. Not Photoshop, like, just, like, cut them out and put them up on there and then be like, why does it look so fucking weird? It's like, because it's an awkward mesh of 2D and 3D. Dudes being dudes in a nutshell? Oh, I hate Reddit. Reddit makes it so difficult to promote your stuff unless, like, you've been in a community for a while or unless it's, like... Hey, this is a really, like, pretty much an abandoned subreddit. Like, the bandery one was for a while. And I ended up putting something in there that got 54 up dudes. To me, like, that doesn't matter. Because it's like, it was just like a thing where it's like everyone uh, full comboed, like, one of the uh, things we were on. Because it was in a verse, uh, not even a versus match. It was in a multiplayer map match. So, yeah, that was cool. People were like, no fucking way. It's like, yeah. And then someone was like, could you imagine being the only person that did not do a full combo? And I'm like, my brother in Christ, I have been there multiple times. There's the reason why they called me the one hit master. Or sorry, the one miss master. The one miss master strikes again and it would be on fucking extreme difficulty or expert difficulty. And I get so fucking mad because it's like, oh, that's the best I can do? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm neutral around Reddit. Like I said before, Reddit completely just no more NSFL. If you do NSFL content on the NSFL underscore subreddit, it has to be of yourself. 
And it's very annoying because before it used to actually be like very, you know, like here's the current thing that's happening right now that other platforms are going to censor. Um, here it is uncensored. Oh, that's fucking insane. I'm so happy because if I wouldn't have seen this, and this is how some people, my brain included, think. It's if I would not have seen that there, I would have gone searching for days and possibly given myself a mental condition. Yeah, my mom was talking about uh, something else, actually. She was talking about a shooting that recently happened. I don't remember. I think Donut Operator did, in fact, cover it. We're not going to watch it. I spelled his name wrong. Teenager killed by police. Teen girl killed during father's rampage. No, this can't be it, right? Until shooter, hostage rescue. Teenager killed by police. This might be something else. Let me check through it really quick. Because normally he does like one or two in his entire thing. Check out donor operator. Watch the full raw footage here. The final moments of Savannah. No, this isn't that. Okay. No, donor operator didn't touch this then. Okay. Um, apparently something happened where a person was being, like, had a routine stop and decided to uh, unload on a cop, or at least attempt to, shot him in the wrist, possibly hit an artery, and they apparently unloaded a lot into this uh, young gentleman, and now the mother is trying to spin it as, it's racist cops, they shot first, even though her son literally had a gun in the front seat of the car and shot at an officer first, which makes it, okay, which makes it basically like, okay, um, you have just shown that your life does not matter. We are going to fucking kill you for harming an officer or an attempt to harm an officer, which they are illegally allowed to do. I am very pro-proper cop here. I think if cops are doing their job, it is a good thing. Not all cops are bad. There are a few that do take their power a little bit too seriously. As uh, we, as um, you know, country and everything has seen before. So, yeah, not all cops are bad. There are cops who do end up doing good, and unfortunately, uh, it is seen very rarely since a lot of media does show to be uh, anti cop, even if they are good. Did you know about the case where a girl rejected some dude and four guys ganged up to kill her? Yep, that sounds definitely like the United States, I'll tell you that much. Oh, this bitch don't want to fuck me? All right, come on, boys, let's rape and murder her. Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Genuinely, what the fuck is wrong with people? They should take after the dog. They, they should be like the dog and just be like, oh, where are we going now? Is it going to be fun? Do I, get to, do I get to run through more walls? I want to do that now. Like, don't shoot at cops. Are you fucking stupid? Dude, if you shoot at a cop, dude, you're dead. Men fucking suck. <laughs> yes, they do. 18 naked cowboys at the showers at Ram Ranch. When have someone suck their cock, that's not how it goes. <laughs> hey, look, there's a reason why guys are like, look, $20 is $20. They know how to suck. <laughs> Some of them. <laughs> like, not me. <laughs> no, projecting is fine. Our male audience is perfectly fine. My analytics told me. <laughs> Man, some humans need to learn their lessons. Some humans need to understand that they shouldn't be doing stupid shit. Let me tell you that much. Like, it's not just men. It's not just women. It's literally the entire population of wherever place. If there's bad things, maybe the people need to evaluate themselves first and not where they are. But you know what it is, what it is. Am I a legal enforcer? Sir, I am a green cat. Possibly blue, depending on if you're some form of colorblind or not. Do I look smart enough to be part of any politic? To be part of any reform? If you answer yes to that, you may also be autistic, so welcome to the family. <laughs> you, may, uh, you may have mesothelioma, and you may be able to uh, get some compensation for it. Which is green? You didn't realize I was green? <laughs> Oh my god, it's teal! 
It's teal green. I thought she was right. You s <sighs> The entire time I was the baby belt cheese. I admit it. How can I fucking enlarge the thing? Background two. I admit it. I was the fuck. I moved the wrong one. <laughs> This is going so fantastic. <laughs> I admit it the entire time. This is really me. I can only make it that big. The entire time. It was all it was all an elaborate ruse. I am, in fact, a cheese head. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hi, baby. Did you have a good sleep? Did you have a good sleep? Why not? No. Come here, come mama. You better kick your mommy's ass. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the baby. Oh, no, baby cat. Oh, boy. <laughs> You like having your back whacked, don't you? Oh, you little kitty. Who's my little pretty bib? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Pretty baby. Get off the table. <laughs> I love you. Such a pretty. No. Hey, no. <laughs> You can't touch the mic. What are you doing? That's better. What are you doing? She's making out with the mic cover. Oh my god. Why are you... Stop. Why are you like this? Don't look at me like that. Why are you like this? She gave me a nasty stare. Oh my god. Now she's... Now she's making out with the table. Why are you like this? Your entire species is a bunch of whores. She's going for the mic again. Stop that. You better stop. You better stop. I'm going to use a massage gun on your forehead again. Very soft. Level one. Barely touching her head. She fucking loves it. She's like, oh shit, it's hands, but better. Stop making out with the table. What are you doing? Baby, what are you doing? She's being a hoe. What are you doing? She's being a whore. Are you my little whore? Yeah. I love you. Who's my little shitter? Yeah, you are. Who's my little shithead? Yeah, you are. Get off my tits. No, you go your head back to me. Oh, I just kissed her eyeball. <laughs> oh, I love you so much. Yes, I do. Oh, <laughs> that was disgusting. Stop popping your paw on my fucking chest. That is nasty. <laughs> I don't like when your father fucking does it with his fingers. I definitely don't like when you do it with your paw, of all things. That is fucking gross. Why are you just letting me hold you like this? Do you actually like being held like that? Can we finally find a way to be able to hold you properly? A yeah, nice cradle. You want to get down? Ah, don't wrap your hands around my throat. That is weird. Get in your chair. Look. Stop being, no. You want back on? She's just staring at me now with intent. Evil, evil cat. You remember to be careful scratching in that ear. You know you have problems with that.
Oh my god. <laughs> Now she's just going to town, giving herself a bath. All right, are those mechanical pencils? We need a compilation of random cat moments. You realize that if I do that, I'm going to want to die afterwards. This cat comes up to me so fucking frequently that I would count it, and it's like, okay, here's five hours worth of cat. Like, wh why? I don't even think I have five hours worth of her, but I would be like, yeah, no, anytime we're talking about the cat, that's a cat moment. Oh, interruption? Cat moment. Mm. Mechanical pencils. Frequent stuff. Yeah, no, those are, in fact, mechanical pencils. God, I have not used a mechanical pencil in fucking over a decade. What'll be the funniest shit is, it's like, if those end up coming back into, like, mass fad, like how they were in, like, the 2010s, I would laugh. Because I'd be like, well, I don't have the pens, but I do still have some of the filling. I do still have some of the lead of it. And that was also what I ended up getting stabbed with as well in my hand, like, years and years ago. I got stabbed with one of those, and then I got stabbed with an actual pencil, and the lead is still in my hand, so that is a lot of fun. If the Lunchables don't kill you, the lead poisoning from fucking getting stabbed with pencils will. As in the cat popping in your stream. Yep. Thank God you didn't uh, misspell that one because I don't think she's ever shat on stream. What do you mean you have to poop? It starts fucking just sounding like she's gonna die. But then you just hear a gigantic... Ugh. Did you, just, did you just commit sins? What, what the fuck was that noise? And the cat just comes out and was like... <laughs> what do you want now? Did I make too much of a noise? What is it now? She's like, you moved in the chair. You clearly want me. You want it. Don't act like you don't when you come up to me specifically for that and your father for even worse. Stop being whiny. If you're not, no, fuck you. If you're gonna do this shit, then you can't be up on me. Do you want up on the back of the chair? You can be on the back of the chair if you want to be. Tell us something your mom doesn't know. They're listening. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go. Mongol class is starting. Okay, have a good day in class. Oh, yeah, I use mechanical pencils a lot still. I used to use normal ones, but now I use mechanical due to sketching and then the fine line. The fine liner marker for the dealer outlines of my drawings. Is that a dealer or clearer? YouTube, stop cucking people challenge. Literally impossible. <laughs> oh, but, um, yeah. I get to actually uh, do some fun. You're back again? Darker. Okay. <sighs> this fucking cat. Wait, I didn't see that earlier. We're actually your tail bleen? What the fuck is bleen? Is that what you kids are drinking nowadays? You're drinking bleen? I thought it was just lean. Also, uh, don't question why, like, you're drinking cough syrup. We literally pioneered that shit. Have you ever heard of freebasing an entire fucking thing of Robitussin? I don't think I'm using the word freebasing right, but yeah, no. Uh, people used to fucking drink entire bottles of the gigantic things of Robitussin to, be, uh, quote unquote, get high. Let me tell you as an adult, that shit don't do nothing. Because it's fucking Robitussin. Even the DM shit don't do anything. You want to know what really does shit? Drinking and smoking. Do not do any other drugs. I will come and find you. And I will make you regret doing drugs. <laughs> oh, God. My autocorrect has betrayed me more than I ever say. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy, it is getting later though. Robo has very small Robotessin has very small traces of alcohol. I still don't think that drinking one of these huge ones can fucking get you anywhere. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'm not going to do anything. This is for demonstrational purposes only of reading the container. So right here, I have a full thing of Robitussin. Peak cold. Multi-symptom cold. I got these for $3 each. They're normally like 12 bucks around where we live. And I'm here to say, at some point in my adolescence, I will not say a child, I will not say an adult, I was somewhere in between, like Ginger Foutley. I did drink a huge one of this. This is eight fluid ounces. It was this exact size, but it was a normal one. Nothing added. Eight fluid ounces. Okay? Let us check the ingredients. So, for age and for dose, so my kid should not be taking this, but she takes literally like one thirds and it helps. Age, adults and children over 12 years of age, 10 milliliters every four hours. Children under 12, do not use. Says to keep out of reach for children. If in case of overdose, get medical help or contact Poison Control Center. Other information, sodium milligram, store at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius, 68 to 77 degrees. We have already fucked that up multiple times, let me tell you that. Guess who? Adolf Hitler! <laughs> You're like, dude, do you think that Hitler would be in the VTubers? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Inactive ingredients are anhydrous citric acid, FDNC red number 40, delicious. Glycerin, menthol, natural and artificial flavor, propylene glycol, purified water, sodium benzenate, sodium citrate, sorbitol solution, and sucralose. Delicious. Where is the actual, like, ingredient here? Active ingredients. Dextromethorphan, HBR, USP 20 milligrams. We... G. Offensin, uh, USP 200 milligrams. Pinephrin? Pinephrin. Helps loosen phlegm. Certain drugs for depression. Wait, you're not supposed to use certain depression drugs if you're taking this? What? Dude, what the fuck? Do not use, if you are taking a prescription monoamine, monoamine oxidase inhibitor, M-O-I, <laughs> M-A-O-I, I'm fucking stupid. Certain drugs for depression, psychiatric, or emotional conditions, or Parkinson's disease. Or for two weeks after stopping the drugs, if you do not know your prescription drug contains this, ask a doctor. Wow. Stop and ask a doctor if you get nervous, dizzy, or sleepless. Symptoms do not get better within seven days, obviously, or are accompanied by a fever. Uh, cough lasts more than seven days, comes back, or is accompanied by a fever. Here's my problem with this cough exceeds days. What if I have seasonal allergies and Robitussin is literally just my thing for being sick? Like, this is this is the problem. I take Robitussin for like a couple of days out of the fucking year. Not even five out of the 365 slash 366, depending on if it's a fucking leap year. You're telling me that if I have a cough for longer than seven days, which I will have in the first place because it is pollen season and I am sick all year round regardless because of stupid, stupid seasonal allergies, which happen constantly and are absolutely exploding right now because it's finally spring. Yay. You're telling me that I can't fucking take this if I cough? Or if I have to ask a doctor, I need to fucking be like, hey, so doc, I've been coughing up a lot of shit. 
well, do you have allergies? Yeah, but I've also been taking Robitussin. They just go like, <gasps> you need to go into a hospital now. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? I'm not dealing with that shit. Fuck that. You wanna know what the fuck I take Robitussin for? I take Robitussin if I don't have anything else. <laughs> it's literally an emergency use situation of whether or not we take Robitussin in the house. It's here in case. And it's like, oh, you ran out of, um, Dolcolax? No, Dolcolax is a school softener. <laughs> you ran out of... Dime Tap? No. Hot Today, Robitussin for coughs. Plus it gives you an excuse to daydream. I don't need an excuse, Jeremy. I don't need an excuse. <laughs> it's literally, hey, is the kid at the house? Do you have enough to buy a thing of vodka? Hey, <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm very different when it comes to that kind of stuff, because it's like, if the kid is not at the house, I do not care. They drink if you want to, smoke if you want to, just don't go and do anything stupid. Do not operate a vehicle. Do not drive a forklift. Ever. <laughs> like, I'm forklift certified. Dude, you're fucking high on meth. Get off of that thing. <laughs> like, if I need the excuse to day drink, it's gonna be like, hey, I am severely depressed and I need a drink. And the one time I did that, Fel was like, I'll make sure the kid stays in her room. Just drink. And then after you're done with that, go lay down in the room, have the door closed. And I will tell the kid that she can come back out. She can have her door open, because you don't need to be drinking around the kid, but if you feel like you got a drink, just... I'll make it so that you can. And it only happened once. And that one time was the day I got fired from my old job. It's hard to believe that that happened, like... Getting close to... I think right now it would be one and a half years ago. Because it happened in 2022. And the reason I got fired was because I decided to put in a two weeks notice because my job made me want to kill myself. I, I know it's fucked up, but it did. I. Go away, Tinnitus. Fuck you. My old job was working at a Salvation Army thrift store. They do not treat you all that great there in the first place. They expect you to do a lot more than you can. And then they don't train you either. And they end up pretty much making a spectacle out of their employees. Their prices now are also fucking insane. So try not to support them because they act like they're mom and pop shit. Mm -mm. Salvation Army. Hmm. It's not as good as it used to be. Uh, around here, they've gone full corpo. I do know like full like, you know, like medical pro man, like. You know how it's like places raise their prices and they go, we're going to bring them down and then they never bring them down. That's basically how the Salvation Army around here is. And apparently the rehab center around here, the multiple around here in just the state, which is New York, aren't that great either. Multiple stories of abuse, multiple stories of just people not being able to really get help violence from the people who are supposed to be helping them it's not a good place anymore unfortunately which really sucks but the reason why mine was so bad is because i had to keep taking time off because i had instances where i would be working a bit too hard and hurt myself and no one told me to calm down with doing stuff and just you know take a break and relax because there it was all about we need to put out this much stuff in a day and our close threshold that we had to put out was 1500 pieces of clothing a day now i don't know about you but when you are in an area where you barely get business unless it is a saturday because that's when people think the big deals are happening instead of all week which the quote-unquote big deals were literally two colored tags were 50 percent off and then one color tag, regardless of the price on the tag, for a time that I was working there, went down to 99 cents. 
but due to quote unquote inflation, went up to 199. Now this would have been fine just for that. However, all the prices of their stuff also went up as well. So what would normally be a 999 pair of pants, sure, that would stay at 999, because those would normally be for jeans. But if you wanted a shirt with a sing like a simple decal on it, a simple graphic, immediately 7.99. You want to know what the prices in the books were for any form of t-shirt unless it was like a band t-shirt or it was a known popular brand like Calvin Klein, etc. Like more so like expensive luxury brands. 2.99 in the winter, 3.99 in the summer. Start switching up prices in spring and fall for the corresponding times. Mhm. Mm it's un like it's sad. Because I knew the insides and outs of that job and everything that it entailed. It's just I was seen as a liability because I had to keep taking time off because I would keep injuring myself. And when I went to go and ask for paid time off, because I actually did have some, uh, I was only working a couple days a week. They had me down to where I was working three days a week. And like they were also trying to get me to do other stuff in the store that I was not trained for and everything, and they weren't going to train me at certain stuff. And it got to a point where about a couple weeks before I put in my two weeks, which led to my firing, I ended up just going down into the basement because that's where the bathrooms were and contemplating, you know, contemplating death. What is not really worth it anymore? Like, I can't get a job anywhere else. That still is the truth, but I'm better now. But they treated it as if it was like, here is the end all be all. If you get fired from here, you're never going anywhere else. No one will want you because they see you as, well, basically, do you know how, um, fuck, the final area in Days Gone, how crazy the corporal is in that? Um, yeah, that's basically how they act 24 seven. And it's crazy because you wouldn't be expecting that from somewhere that supposedly helps drug addicts become remission and get them back into work, helps people who are homeless, does all these nice things, has clothes at cheap and affordable prices. They don't do that stuff anymore. They haven't done that stuff in years, but they still pose it as they do, but they mistreat their employees. Unless, and this was the big thing that they finally stopped a little bit after I got fired, unless they're the manager and then they let them do whatever they want. My fucking manager, I liked her as a person a bit, but she started taking multiple vacations down to North Carolina. So we talked about this before. My brother lives in North Carolina. They go to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and they go to a couple places in North Carolina. Okay. So she was traveling for 18 hours to be down there for over weeks at a time to quote unquote be with her family. She was taking vacations and getting paid for them. And no one had said anything. The only thing that finally tipped the big guys off to the fact that she was leaving, they had a camera installed in the manager's, like in the manager's office. And she said one day that she was there doing stuff and the cameras said a completely different story because these motherfuckers were not checking to see if she had signed into work they were just following her word she got fired because she was basically stealing money from them because she was getting pto every time she took off for weeks on end the new manager there is apparently okay because she used to be one of the assistant managers that was there while I was working then ended up having to deal with an injury that happened but still the entire experience has just soured my opinion on them as a whole vintage items get sold for way more expensive than they're worth men's clothing get disregarded that's just a big oof like the thing is they treat their fucking employees like cattle but then they brainwash them with the you're part of the family you're here forever mentality and it sucks because I liked a lot of people that work there. But the problem is as well, it felt like a job where it was like a rotation, massive rotation. Only 
at the end of when I got fired, I only knew four people that worked there. They would rotate out like every month or so because you just couldn't fucking keep people. The standards were too high. And the only reason why I stayed is because at the time, Fell was trying to, as he is now, find a job. Because before it was easier than it is now. And even then, because of the marks on his, I hate to say permanent record, but it's technically like a permanent record. Due to the marks left by the military with the entire eye incident, or I guess brain incident, we should call it. He has very difficult time finding a job, and we really don't want to have to deal with quote-unquote under-the-table situations. Yeah. Streaming, for me, has been seen as a way to reach out to people, and if they do want to donate, I do understand now that it's like, saying it's like, oh, it was out of pity. That was wrong. I don't know why I felt like that. People don't pity watch. Like, especially with, like, the standard of, like, watching content now, it doesn't make sense for people to pity watch people. That doesn't make sense. Because, literally, the attention span of the average human now is, like, less than a fucking goldfish's. You guys have been here for two hours. You guys have almost been here for three hours. If that's pity, that ain't pity, that's fucking hate watching. <laughs> and no, our community is full of a bunch of nice people. I know you guys wouldn't watch out of pity. I apologize for saying stupid shit like that. But the thing is, I've been through the ringer when it comes to being fucked over by people and stuff like that. And I, I felt it happening amongst myself. When you're around people like this for years, or I guess people like that, apologies for my poor grammar, I am stupid. When you're around people like that for years and years, which it wasn't that bad for me, because I got out a year and a quarter afterwards because I got... This is really sad, actually. I got fired on the anniversary of my grandmother's death. To the day. She passed away in 2021 on October 10th. I never got to say goodbye to her. It still hurts. I cried that day. I did. I still had to go to work. I cried that day. They asked me if I wanted to go home, and I said I can't. Because if I go home, I'll end up losing money. And I can't lose money for my family. That's how it always felt. Well, a year later, same day, October 10th, I show up to work. And I, here's the thing that fucked it up the most. I worked half of a day. They knew in the morning that I had been fired. I worked half a day of work. And I get called into the office. And I stop what I'm doing straight up, just stop what I'm doing. Because I believe at the time I had either still been running a cart of clothing out to the floor. Or I had just finished one, wrote down my number and everything. And I get called into... I get called into the manager's office. Well, the thing is, the manager, like I said before, was not there. It was two of the assistant managers. Very nice people. I enjoy them very much. They're literally just doing what they're told to do. Those two have not been brainwashed. And I believe still not now. They're just trying to provide for their family. They need to do what they need to do. Call me in. And the female one, because it's male and a female one, I will not reveal their names. Female one sitting at the back, sitting behind the desk. Because she has the most authority while main manager is gone. And she goes... They have decided to not accept your two-week notice. Because this is literally, like, two days after, because I applied it on a Saturday. We had Sundays off, because that's what the Salvation Army does. And then the Monday, I worked half of it, then had this situation happen. Where it's like, they are rejecting your two-week notice. And they are just going to fire you. And I cried. Because I was like, how am I supposed to... Like, I don't have the time to find another job because I was in the midst of finding another job. Right afterwards, too, um, I ended up getting rejected for work at the hospital up here because I don't have a car and I don't have a license. And that was the only reason why I got rejected for that. So please, if you are not, please go get your license if possible. I know it's a monetary thing, but yeah, don't get fucked over like I did. So regardless off of that, I had to apply for... 
what is it called? I had to apply for unemployment insurance. I got that until March, no, May of 2023. And because I had worked almost the entirety of the year beforehand, 2023's tax thing was very well. We saved up the money as we could, but things started happening and everything. And eventually all that went down the drain. And regardless, I've been looking for work. And then finally I got the dick and balls to say, hey, at this point, I might as well just stream. Wanted to do that before. Kept failing multiple times. And then somehow this ended up taking off. Thank you very much to everyone who is here, who was here for the Jelly Hearts and the Bungle Scrongle experiences and stuff like that of yesteryear. Or I guess yester time and all that. But yeah, there's a reason why I just dead ass am like, I don't trust Corpo. It's not even due to the VTuber shit that's been happening as of late, like in the last couple of months or so. And even years. It's because I just don't like corporate anything. Because they take advantage of you. They fuck you over so hard. And that's with contracts. That's with you being loyal and responsible and doing everything in your power to be able to do as much as you can in the limited amount of time you're there. Because I wasn't working full time. I was working five hours a day. And they expected me to get 1,500 articles of clothing out onto the floor. Because that was my main thing. I was working with the clothes. Every single day. And at some times, there weren't people there to also hang them. And then I got tasked with pricing them. Pricing them is fine. Pricing them is literally the main reason why I know the prices of certain stuff as they used to be in and out. It's just, I'm sick of, like, people pushing, like, oh, you have to be corpo, you have to do this and this and this and all this shit that costs money in order to attempt to even make it into this fucking industry. And I am now proof that you don't fucking have to. I'm proof that you don't have to be fucked over by this industry first to break into this shit. I'm proof because I didn't spend jack fucking shit on any of this. My mom helps us pay with the Wi-Fi because we don't have jobs. And she's so kind and helpful and I can... If I end up getting huge bucks from anything, all of that money's going to be going to her. It's like, yeah, you got to pay your phone. I understand that much. If anyone is ever crazy enough to donate a huge fucking amount, which I am not asking you to, if anyone is fucking insane enough to, the money will immediately go into my, my account. The money will immediately be withdrawn. Next time I see her, I'm going to tell her fucking everything. Be like, I've been streaming for this long. Shit finally came through. I don't know if it's going to be frequent. But God damn it. You deserve to have all that shit paid back to you. I felt like a fucking mooch. Neither of us have been able to find work. It's been absolute hell. Constant rejection. Constant not even being told why we get rejected from stuff. And to be honest, I... See, this as being a thing that works. We're reaching more people now than we ever did before. Due to my little outbursts or not. We actually have people who want to support us properly. In proper manner as watching and subscribing to the channel to try and make it so that it actually gets seen by other people. Watching the VODs, watching the streams, watching the shitty shorts, watching the clips, even if you've already been to the streams. That shit is a form of dedication that I have never felt towards any other content creator that I know that a lot of you guys have towards me, and I don't know why. You know, mentioning that back then, I would have given you re I mean, I would have given you 500 USD if I knew about you, but recently I'm only able to do 30 every month. I have to save stuff for the month. But if I had the chance, I would take it once. That is fucking insane. Still, keep up the stuff. It'll work out soon. I do hope that at some point it is more than just a projectian uh, giving cash. Because, like, I want him to save as much money as he possibly can. I know that right now is absolutely ass for a bunch of people. Thousand percent. I mean, we were talking about it uh, earlier before with my mom, actually. Where it's like, they're saying that she may have to take time off for her leg and stuff. And that would be not paid time off. Because she may have time off ability, but I don't think it would be PTO because of how shit is right now. 
And the problem is with this, it's like, we don't work. We can't work. He has a black mark on his records and shit, and I just can't get a fucking job no matter how hard I try. Which is fucking ass. Like, it sounds like complaining, but it's just, like, having proper conversation. I apologize if it sounds like I'm bitching about nothing. But I kind of want to be seen as a proper example to my kid. And being an unemployed, stupid piece of shit that relies on your mom and your 20s, that just... That's not how shit is in America. That wasn't how shit was looking out for us. And we were doing okay, but then the firing thing happened. And... Oh my god. Like, I feel awful. But... Yeah. I get you, stuff's hard now. It's not supposed to be this hard either, but, you know, shit ended up happening in the world and everything, and now we are where we are, and it's difficult to adjust to it. It's not nothing, it's everyone. I'm also struggling with making my own stuff, too. Like, being a creative actually hurts me now, since my arthritis has gotten so bad that I can barely draw anymore. So now I envy people who still have the ability to do that. And it, it sucks. Because I used to be really good at art, and now it's... Well, this was just, like, for shits and giggles doing the background. But even when I try now, it's, like... Even tracing is just misproportioned, and it looks gross. Tracing from reference. I don't want people to think I trace other people's stuff. That's weird. It was never supposed to be this. The world has changed. It changed for the worse, and it changed way quicker than it was supposed to, but goddamn if I ain't allowed to complain about that shit. But yeah, my mom was talking about how she was contemplating not even working this summer, and she did the same thing last year, but then it's like you start looking at the bills and stuff, and you go, well, regardless of if I want to or not, I'm gonna have to. And honestly, one of the things, <sighs> breathe, you're just talking about familial stuff, just fucking breathe. God. Oh, I'm getting teary over nothing. Fucking stupid. Don't you live in some of the more expensive states? So I live in New York. I live in central New York. Right now, for an apartment, to live in an apartment, so this isn't even a full house. We live in a full house because this has been completely bought because of my grandmother, who, as I said before, passed away. We do not have to pay asinine amounts of rent. If we were paying rent, our rent would be 400 a month with everything included. Everything included. Every single thing. The average price right now, I have been told, is seven fifty. So this is our area. This is bumfuck Gloversville, New York. Okay, seven fifty to nine ninety, depending on how nice the house is and what neighborhood you're in. So we're not doing that bad, but usually for nine ninety, it's an entire house. Usually for nine ninety, it's not just like a floor of a house. So I wouldn't say that's that bad. Mom said that if she ever rented out this one, like if we ever decide to move, she would rent out, she would contemplate renting out the entire thing. She would have to have a couple of renovations done, obviously, so that the downstairs had a bathroom. She would say she would rent out each floor for six to seven fifty, depending on how much the house had been renovated up or sorry, renovated, not renovated. Because it would be a thing like how she had at one of her old houses that she lived at, that she was planning to live at for the rest of her life as well. But then my dad ended up getting involved with her life since he literally was just like, he walked in and he was there. His friends dropped him off and that was how that was. It would be where our house is set up where if you wanted to, you could set it up to where like there's an entrance on the side of the house like through where the basement comes in and then also the front door. And that could be two separate, like two separate house, like two separate um, apartments. Because the house is big enough to do like apartment wise, to be honest. So it's not that bad. 
glad I live in the Midwest then. I have heard, like, I have seen, and this was back when we were doing house hunting when Fat Ass was still living here and shit. My mom's a stalker. Which, I was gonna put out a video for that, and then I'm like, she doesn't deserve that shit. I'm gonna delete that one and then keep up the two about my dad since he's dead. <laughs> but yeah, um, Belle and I were house hunting. Here comes the buffering? Oh boy. Well, anyways, back when we were young, I would say the kid was about one or two when this happened. This was before the, the guy saying that he wanted to kill my kids thing happened. All because she was playing in a tiny island that he had cleaned out and not shut the doors to. Go fucking figure. Suck my dick. Jesus Christ. We were looking for apartments to move into since we were going to do that. And we found one that was like 500. So I'm like, oh, is it the entire house? Because the paper, not paper, the, what the fuck is it called? The listing. Yeah, the listing made it look like it was the whole house. It was only the upstairs and it was 550 a month. But that also wasn't including anything else. I don't think it was because when you're looking at like listing places, like I'm going to say it's like Trillo, Zulily, Zillow, all that kind of stuff, whatever. I don't think uh, Zulily is one. I'm sorry. Basically, like, anywhere where it's like, oh, I'm looking for a place to move to, etc., whatever. Um, usually it will just show like how much the house or the place that you're moving into will be for a month. That's usually not with amenities included, unfortunately. So the 500 does end up going up to seven. I don't think that's for every single thing. I think that's literally for like only some sites, but I have seen where it's like some people be like, oh yeah, no, we moved into a place and it was supposed to be 550 and it ended up being 900 because amenities were not included. <laughs> Very dumb. Um, So I pretty much filled my time now. Okay. Well, I gotta get the fuck out of Top Chat because Top Chat pissed me off. Live chat? I don't know why the hell it keeps switching over to Top Chat instead of Live Chat for me. Because I do remember someone was saying some shit in the Live Chat like a while, while ago. And it was very, very wrong and gross. <laughs> I think. For today, I'm going to get off, and I'm going to look at the stuff that I uh, found for the PJ Sec archives. So, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, the top chat thing. I don't like how it auto-sends there. I don't get why it automatically links to the I mean, to that instead of the live chat. Because if you guys don't remember, that's where the 9-11 was a good thing uh, situation happened, and... It ends up pissing me the fuck off. When I stream, sometimes I make sure live chat is showing and not on top chat. Am I able to change that for the actual chat or? Yeah, because it's local file. OK, I just need it for my thing because I don't I don't need to miss the 9-11 was a good thing situation again, because uh, that that is a ban on site assassinate this motherfucker situation. And the fact that I left it there for a bit was absolutely just. No. <laughs> that was a very bad. That was before Fell actually joined in on stuff, so, you know, I, sh I probably should have let him in on that earlier, but at the same time, I was kind of like, uh, I feel kind of weird having him know I stream. Uh, like, shit like that. <laughs> but yeah, I want to say thank you to all of our new followers. If you have not followed me or uh, do not know that I am on Twitter, since it keeps a uh, Shadow blocking me, thanks a lot, Elon. You can go suck a fat cock. We do have all of our uh, links down in the description underneath my big fat head. Or, I guess, on the side. Like, YouTube has been doing this really fucking stupid thing now where it just decides to change how you are viewing the page. So sometimes it will be underneath the video is the description. Sometimes it will be on the side of the video is the description now. Right now, for me, it was like, it's like on the side of the video and then the comments are also like on the side and then underneath, instead of being the comment section and stuff, like underneath the video is now related videos, which to be honest, it does make more sense for it to be like that. But I am so used to like videos being on the side and then the description being underneath the video and just. I'm getting old. I can't handle change. <laughs> 
anyways, yeah, all my links are down below. We do also have our Discord open now, so if you want to get into the Discord for more autism, you can. Please remember to read the rules before you chat. If you cannot see the rules page, please let me know and I will attempt to fix that with my limited knowledge of how to work a fucking computer and a phone. Thank you to all of our new followers that came from a certain thing as well as from today. I would like to thank our active chatters for chatting with me today. I would like to also uh, abruptly thank my mother for calling in and letting us know how she's doing. I hope that she does not have to go through surgery, but if she does, God, she said that like she was going to apply for disability and stuff, and I hope that goes through if she does have to, since, you know, it's your leg that's kind of important. <laughs> It's very important. Like, she's stressed out about it and everything, too. Like, I hate her dog. Sometimes I do, because it's literally like, oh, this is Autism Incarnate Dog now. Fuck. Oh, yeah, uh, Leo. Uh, Leo Marie, if you're still here, pjsec.i, like, if you're going to be ripping from that, I don't know where you mainly rip shit from for working on stuff. If you ever wanted to rip some more uh, Project Sakai stuff, they have all of the third anniversary, like, virtual singer outfits on there now look we finally have our babies oh this is kaido no they have that you dumb fuck men source image why am i doing i'm making myself look embarrassing slay <laughs> more more jump kaido i'm gonna be doing that after the stream i'm gonna be looking and seeing how fast i can do that kind of stuff because i desire to see mako with her stomach out in the more more jump outfit i am a fucking freak i'm a freak there we go all right so thank you very much i'm going to go and uh take six pain pills because of my back i also need to do my push-ups I normally do them when my mom was calling, so I kind of wasn't able to do them. Sticking to that hundred a day. Oh boy. Like, they're fine. The push-ups are fine. It's just I started doing the ones where it's like you literally shove yourself off of the quote-unquote floor on the wall ones now. And uh, my, my ribs are definitely feeling it. <laughs> they're finally going back into place means I can finally be snatched again, because I used to be able to be right after I, get, uh, I had the kid, so. <laughs> I used to actually, uh, I used to actually look attractive. <laughs> like I don't now, come on. I look at myself in the mirror, I say I'm fine, I just don't like how fat I am, so I'm fixing it. Okay. We'll chat tomorrow, hopefully there's no phone calls to last an hour, and hopefully I only have to give milk to Fel, like, for a second and not be told stupid shit, so. <laughs>